Okay, pick a babysitter. A Navy SEAL or a ninja? What kind of options are those? I need someone who can protect you while I'm away. From what? An army? You know, ever since Dad died, you've been acting really weird. Sissy, pick the seal. You do realize it's not the animal seal? You know what? Never mind. Thanks for coming. These are my kids Sarah, Sadie, and the baby Susie. Nice to meet you. Miss Lane, I can assure you, your kids are in great hands. I want dinner. Shut up! She's asleep. I don't care. I'm hungry. Don't make me push you into the wall. Hey, don't talk to your sister like that, and you kid need to learn some manners. Her learn manners, please. You also do realize you're not the first babysitter we had. Is that so? Yeah, you're like the fifth one. All the other ones quit. Uh-huh, they don't like us. Said we're not disciplined enough. Well, I can assure you I'm not going to quit. It's my duty to protect you. <laughs> well, speaking of duty, I'll let you handle that. Uh, wait! Just, um, FYI, you're putting on her diaper backwards. It's supposed to go this. Somebody's in the house. Take the baby and stay here. Sadie! Shh, stay very quiet. Somebody's in the house. Take the baby and stay here. Sadie! Shh, stay very quiet. <laughs> Shh, it's gonna be okay. Sarah! Are you okay? No, there was a scary guy outside my window. What? Your security has been compromised. What is going on? <sighs> Listen, there's a reason your mother hired me to watch over you guys. I'll explain. So let me get this straight. Our dad was a spy, and now the bad guys that were after him are after us? Yes. They're after a stolen laptop your dad had retrieved before he died. Somebody tried to break in today, but I'm gonna protect you guys, I promise. You guys need to wear these. What does this do? It's a tracking bracelet. Will this help keep us safe? Yes, it's so I can keep track of you. Is this yours? I found it in Dad's office. Sadie, you know you're not supposed to be down there, and this isn't mine. Wait a minute, didn't Neff the babysitter say that the bad guys were after a stolen laptop? Do you hear that sound? Yeah, I hear it. Hello, girls. Do you hear that beeping sound? Yeah, I hear it. Hello, girls. Don't be scared. Just give me the laptop. No. Maybe this will change your mind. Mm -hmm. Susie! You let her go! <laughs> let go of her! Sadie! Come here! <laughs> Give me the laptop now. Okay, okay, just take it. Finally! You have what you want, now let them go! I don't think so. Take them to the other room. No! Sadie, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. The babysitter, he's gonna save us. Do you mean this babysitter? Neff! <sighs> No one can save you now. Sadie, I think I can get free, but I need you to make the baby cry. Okay. <laughs> Why is she crying? She hates that sound. Hey, you! Is that a charger? <laughs> what are you gonna do with that, huh? Well, let's try this. Oh, my eye! I'm scared. It's gonna be alright, let's get you free. Neff, come on, wake up! <sighs> what, what happened? The bad guys, they got the laptop and- What is going on? Girls, stay back. You think you can fight? You're not gonna bother them ever again. Go Neff, go Neff, kick his ass. Where did you learn how to say that? <laughs> I don't know. Thank you for protecting my girls. Of course, Miss Lane. Those men shouldn't be bothering them anymore. Wait, Neff, you're not leaving us now, are you? Can you please just stay a little bit longer? Girls, please. As long as it's okay with your mother. I guess it would be nice to have a man around the house. All right, it's fine with me. Yay. You made it! You look so cute! Thanks! Wait, who are you supposed to be, though? I'm... She looks like the girl from James Bond, right? Oh, I get it. You know, I didn't think you were coming. Where were you? You need to get out of there now. Yeah, I'm trying. You need to use your laser ring. Didn't Director Johnson say that was just a prototype? Yes, but it's your only option, Agent 22. Now use it! That was hot. Well, you're free, aren't you? And if you hurry, you might make it to that Halloween party of yours. I just, uh, got a little, you know, tied up at work. I love you too. Bye. Shit, the girls are gonna be home in ten minutes. They can't see me dressed like this. Hi, girls. Do you want a cookie? Yeah. Mmm. Hi, Miss Reeves. Is my daughter Sarah in trouble? 
No, Miss Grayson, I just wanted to speak with you about what Sarah wrote in class today. Go ahead and read that out loud. I love my mommy because she beats up bad guys. I just don't know why she would write that. Um, what is your job, Miss Grayson? Uh... Come here! Get her! Ugh! I'm an accountant. Oh, well, how funny of her to write that. <laughs> she must have quite the imagination. Excuse me, sorry. Girl, we thought you forgot about your daughter. <laughs> Welcome the girls. You barely made it. Where were you? I just got a little tied up at work. <laughs> you need to get out of bed now. I'm working on it. Laser bobby pen. You guys really do think of everything. Your daughter's dance recital starts in 15 minutes. <sighs> Shit. Bye, Mom. I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you put on the makeup? I ran out. Oh, great. Well, looks like you're not going to school. What? Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's even gonna notice. I said no! You know what will happen if people see that mark. They'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I'll buy you makeup when I get back. I love you. I love you more. I love you most. See you after work. I had a big test today, and I'm not supposed to miss it. No one's gonna notice this. I'll just take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Hey, what's that on your neck? <gasps> I've seen that mark before. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You must be the lost princess. Legend says you have powers. Powers? What? No, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna Wait. happen. I'm home. What's wrong? Something happened. Who else saw the mark? Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost princess. <laughs> you, a princess, please. Just look at your chubby little face. You look nothing like royalty. Uh, you must never go outside again. Never? Yes, you've been exposed. It's much too dangerous now. Don't be so sad, dear. I know. I'll go get you some food. You just relax. Watch some TV. This just in, a teenage boy is on the run from the cops today after allegedly stealing a crown from the royal family. Mom? Mom? Jeez, who designed these locks? <gasps> that is definitely not Mom. He's probably here for my mark. Good thing I have some more makeup. Whoa, wasn't expecting anyone to be home, but hey. Stay back, I'm warning you. I'm highly trained in the art of... Origami. Isn't that paper folding? I was kind of hoping you wouldn't know what that was. Relax, dollface. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to stash something. So, if you'll excuse me. I just knocked him out. I just knocked him out. I wonder what he was trying to stash. A crown. This must be from the royal family. <gasps> Mom's home. I gotta hide him. Riley, I'm tired. Please give me a hand massage. I will, but after. Right now, I wanted to tell you that you don't have to worry about me going outside anymore. I told you it's too dangerous. <sighs> no, Mom, I can protect myself because I just... Enough! <sighs> now I'm the bad guy. You didn't have to yell. I'm so sorry, Riley. I've just been so stressed out trying to keep you safe. I really need that massage. Do you feel better now? Yes, thank you. You always make me feel better, dear. Now, do you promise you won't try and go outside? I promise. I I don't know what I was thinking. That's a good girl. Well, I'm off to my date, and if all goes well, I might just bring you home a new father. <laughs> okay, um, wake up. <sighs> Whoa, what the? Did you tape me to this chair? Actually, yes. I did, but I'll be asking the questions here. I want to know why you have this. Hey, you went into my bag? You went into my house. Listen, I didn't want to have to do this, but you give me no choice. I'm gonna have to do the look. Huh, that uh, usually makes the girls go crazy. What's that on your neck? <gasps> the makeup must have come off. Well, here's your bag back. Thank you. Ugh. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Oh no, your bump got worse. No, it's fine, really. Hey, just let me see it. What the? It's gone. How'd you do that? I don't know. Wait, the X on your neck, healing powers? You're the lost princess. Why does everyone keep saying that? I look nothing like royalty. Have you seen my face? Yeah, I'm looking at it. That's why I call you Dollface, because you're cute. What's your real name? Riley. Well, Riley, everyone knows that the royal family had a daughter that went missing 18 years ago. And how old are you? 18. 
Listen, I think you may have been kidnapped. No, I know my mom and she would never do something like that. Is that your mom in that photo? Yeah. She looks nothing like you. You should come with me, I'm pretty sure that you're in- Ugh! She's not going anywhere. <coughs> now I'm the bad guy. <laughs> Miss Cindy White? Yes, that's me. Hi, welcome to Castle High. Your popularity score will now appear above your head. Don't ask me how to make it go up. It's a secret. Do you have any dietary restrictions or allergies? Yes, I'm actually highly allergic to apples. Noted. All right, get to class. Here is your name tag. Oh, look. It's the most unpopular girl in school. How did you get yours up to 70%? <laughs> oh, Sydney, you're so pathetic. When I come to my party? Uh, yeah. Sweet. I'll airdrop you the address. Okay. Sid, we're playing truth or dare. Pick one. Dare. Okay. We dare you to kiss Peter. Oh! <laughs> it's just for fun. Come on, we're waiting. Okay, okay. <gasps> She's so into him. Your popularity went up. Congrats. Don't congratulate her. She only has 10%, and she needs 100% to meet her soulmate. And we all know that's not gonna happen. Don't listen to what Rebecca says to you. She's a nobody. Peter, she's literally the most popular girl in school. I know, but not for long. We have a plan. Who's we? Me and seven of my other basketball teammates. Meet us at the boys' locker room during lunch. Peter, I really shouldn't be in here. <laughs> Sid, it's all good. Let me go get the team. Guys, this is Sydney. Hey! hey. Yo, Sydney! Hey. You guys want to raise my popularity score? Yes, ma'am. We think you're kind of cute and way nicer than Rebecca. And since you got 10% right now, if you kiss all of us, you're going to go up to 80. Making you more popular than Rebecca Queen. I don't know about this. Come on, Sydney. We're sick of Rebecca thinking she's better than everyone. Hey, Siri. Who's the most popular girl in Castle High? You. But not for long. Who's the second most popular? Sydney. White. What? Yo, just one more kiss! She did it! I made it to 80%? Yep, I can't wait to see Rebecca's face. Yo, Peter, you're right. She was a good kisser. You said that? Oh, what? <laughs> no, I... Somebody's got a crush! Oh. Oh. Jason, shut up! Not you all exposing Peter. <laughs> hey, Sydney. I see you raised your percentage. Well, so did I. Looks like we're tied. Sid, you better watch your bag. Why? Because Rebecca's totally obsessed with being the most popular, and if you come for her title, girl, she's gonna come for you. Sydney, hey. <laughs> oh, hey, Peter. Hi, I wanted to ask you if you, um, if you wanted to go to prom with me. Sure, I'd love to. Sweet, I'll, uh, I'll pick you up at eight. Dad, I need a prom dress. Actually, sweetheart, your mother left you something for this day. She always thought of everything. Let me show you. Your mother knew you so well. That dress looks perfect on you, honey. You look like a real-life princess. Here, this is for you. Oh, thank you. Of course. You ready to go? Can't believe you and Rebecca are tied. Well, I'd like to change that. The name's Brock. May I kiss you? Um... Go ahead, Sid. It's time you put Rebecca in her place. Peter, I made it to 90%. <laughs> no way. You're the most popular girl in school now. <laughs> Listen, I've actually been meaning to tell you. And the winner for prom queen goes to Miss Sydney White. Yo, Sydney! Oh my gosh, she's my friend. Sydney, Sydney. First she becomes more popular than me, and now she's prom queen. It's time for Plan B. I need your help. You remember how Sydney's allergic to apples? Yeah. Uh huh. Well, I have a job for you. Stand there for your picture. Mind if we take it without the gems? Smile, Brad, Cindy. She looks so pretty. Sid, Rebecca's super upset that you took her title. You better be careful. Wait, do you know where Peter went? Heard you're looking for Peter. Yeah, have you seen him? Actually, yes. Let me show you where he is. Lucas, Peter isn't here. Yeah, I know. I... I lied, okay? What? Why would you- Because I wanted to get you alone so you and I could, you know, kiss and you can get up to 100%. No, I don't care about my popularity score anymore. But Sydney, once you hit 100%, you meet your soulmate. You can meet him tonight. Do you really think so? I know so. That's the law. One kiss is all it takes. Ugh! 
Lucas, did you have something on your lips? Just chapstick. All natural apple chapstick. Apples? I'm allergic to- I know. Let's see what sense you lose, honey. Touch? Oh, wow. Does that mean that I can't feel pain? Yep, it sure does. Oh, this is going to be the best day ever. And then after that, I got so embarrassed that I... Whoops. You jerk, you hit her right in the head. Hey, it's okay. I, I can't feel pain. Oh. Really? Well, in that case, will you go to the blood drive with me? I'm really scared to go alone. Um, okay. Okay, let me see your arm. Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. Um, honey, wake up. You're all done. I got a little bit distracted, but you should be fine. Mom, I'm feeling kind of lightheaded. Oh, dear. Okay, honey, I'm taking you to get checked out. Any discomfort here? And how many fingers now? Three. I got your lab results, and I don't know how you didn't feel this. I can't believe you didn't feel this. Feel what? You said you've been feeling kind of lightheaded, correct? Yeah, just like kind of dizzy. That's because you have lost a significant amount of blood. Did you go to a blood drive or anything recently? Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. That lady, she did this to me. What lady, honey? The one from the blood drive. I have to go find her. Oh, no, you don't. You are in no condition to leave. But, honey, listen to the doctor. How are you not feeling pain? You almost died. Your heart could have stopped. Oh, my. You might want to close your eyes for this part. Is that a bite mark? That nurse at the blood drive, she must have been a... Happy birthday! Look what came in the mail! An egg? It's your very own magical creature! Wait, really? Yes, but you have to take good care of it and wait for it to hatch. But I want to see it now! Don't give me that attitude! You have to be patient! It will hatch on your 17th birthday! <clears throat> it hasn't hatched? No, not yet. I'm gonna take it to class with me. Please be careful, don't let it get stolen. I won't. Guys, mine just hatched. I got a panda dragon. I got a koala unicorn. What about you? Well, actually, mine's still in the egg. <laughs> Yours is probably dead. It is not. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, please hatch. I have waited so long for this. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's happening. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Hi there, little guy. <laughs> That's a very rare creature you got there. Who are you? I found them. I'm gonna need you both to come with me. What? Actually, I just remembered. I need to go back home. No, you need to come with- Hey! Honey, your egg hatched. Let's celebrate. No, Mom, now is not the time. I was being followed home, but I think I lost him. Excuse me, what? You were being followed? Yeah, by this creepy guy who said my creature was super rare and he wanted me to come with him. Oh no, you and your creature are in danger. What? Open up! I'm pretty sure he's a creature hunter. You two need to hide. But what are you gonna do? Don't worry, I'll get rid of him. Just go hide now. And don't come out no matter what. I know you're here. Surprise! Found you. Now let's go. I said let's go. <laughs> Whoa, maybe now I can kind of see why they wanted you. Honey? Oh. Mom! Mom, you're hurt. I tried to stop him, but he was too strong. Oh. <laughs> what is it doing? <gasps> Whoa, it, it healed me. This was so worth the wait. What? Nothing, sweetheart. I just, I can't believe it. He won't be passed out for long. I need to go get something. I'll be right back. So, you have laser eyes and the power to heal people? What else can you do? Okay, what is taking her so long? Shh, 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 I'm here to help you. You're telling me that I was stolen? Yes, when you were a baby, your mom stole you from your dad. He sent me to look for you. You're lying. I'm not. You need to come with me. You're not safe here. Well, look who's up. You're not going to take her creature. Oh, but I will. Mom, did you really steal me from dad? Yes, after our divorce, all I asked him for was your egg, but he wouldn't agree to that. So you didn't even want me? Of course not! And for 17 years, I've had to put up with you. But you know what? It was all worth it because your creature is amazing. Kid, you need to come with me now! She's not going anywhere! <laughs> you... just... <sighs> Hello? Oh, please, wake up! <gasps> what 
happened? I saved your life. Mom? What did you do to her? You killed. You used your laser vision on her? Yes. I protect you. Thank you. Molly! Is that you? My name isn't Molly. Oh, but it used to be. Before your mother took you from me. I can't believe I found you. Dad? It's me, honey. I think it's time you finally come home. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Aw. I win. Since you won, I, I picked these flowers for you. Prince Daniel, do you see that above your head too? Uh-huh. You have to get people to kiss you. Oh. How about I kiss you? But if we're soulmates, your score will... It will go up high. Okay. Yes. <gasps> Stop! You're forbidden to see Prince Daniel again. No, go to your room. Stepmother, please let me go help the village people. I won't talk to any boys, and I promise I'll only be gone for a few hours. No. What if some stranger tries to kiss you and your score goes up? Why don't you want my kiss score to go up? Yours is already at 50. They say if you kiss your soulmate, your score goes up really high. Is that why yours is so high? No. Soulmates are a lie. I just have a way with men. But you're staying in your room. I told the village people that I was going to help them out today, and I'm not going to break my promise. Thank you, princess. We appreciate your help. Oh, it was my pleasure, really. Look, her score is going up. Hey, Princess Sydney? It's me, Prince I, Daniel. I have to go. Wait, I haven't seen you in forever. I'm forbidden to talk to you, remember? Oh, come on. You know you still owe me. Princess, there you are. How did your score go up? Who kissed you? It was two women from the village. They were both so grateful for my help that they each kissed one of my hands. We also caught her talking to Prince Daniel. I'm so sorry. He started talking to me and Silence! You were forbidden to see him. We'll discuss your punishment later. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Yes, and don't come back until the job is done. So you're allowing me to go out in the village today? Are you sure you're not still mad? All is forgiven. Thank you. My best god will be with you for protection. Come along, princess. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, don't cry. I picked this flower earlier. Would you like to have it? Yes, please. You don't know how much that means to her. Allow me to repay you for your kindness. Oh, you really don't. Mwah. Everyone, let's all kiss the princess's hand so we can raise her score. Yeah! Good job, everyone. She's almost about to beat the evil queen's score. Yeah! Today was an eventful day, huh? I just hope that Stepmother doesn't mind that my kiss score is almost as high as hers. After tonight, I don't think she'll mind. Let's get you back home. We're almost there. No, stop. You keep saying that, and I don't remember the weight of the castle being this way. <sighs> well, Princess, that's because it's not. No. I'm sorry, Princess. Why are you doing this? The Queen believes you are a threat to her kiss score. She ordered me to get rid of you. I don't want to kill you. But if I don't, she'll kill me. Close your eyes. Whoa. Stay back. Daniel. Run. Run and don't come back. Hello? Is anyone home? Hello? Please help me. The queen, she was trying to kill- Whoa, whoa, sweetheart. It's all right. Come on, let's get you inside. Thank you for letting me stay here. Your dog is so sweet. Of course, it's our pleasure, dear. Good night, sweetheart. Come here. Princess, I'm taking the dog out for a walk. Don't answer the door to anyone. Okay. I know this song. That's the song that Mother used to sing to me. Mom? Oh, Sydney. Yes, it's me. No, that's impossible. You died when I was four. The ones we love are never gone. I've come to give you a kiss. You only need one more kiss to beat the evil queen's score. How do you know that? Because, my daughter, I'm magic. That's how I came back to life. Now let me give you a kiss. I... I don't know if I believe you. How about I give you a little demonstration? You see, dear? Magic. It's really me, your mom. I've missed you so much. Once I give you this magical kiss, we'll be together forever. <laughs> mom, I don't feel very good. Well, that's because... You've been tricked. <laughs> Stepmother? Hello, Sydney. I've just given you the kiss of death. You'll be dead in a few minutes. <laughs> oh, princess, I found a prince who was looking for... <laughs> you. No, Sydney. The queen must have done this to her. Daniel, I... I love... No, hey, stay with me. Sydney. Sydney! No, oh, please. Please, no. Sydney, wake up. I'm so sorry, dear. This wasn't supposed to happen. Remember you? You still owe me that kiss. 
Wait, True Love's kiss? She's waking up. Look at her score. Oh, you two must be soulmates. <gasps> I knew it. The evil queen has gone too far this time. You have to take back your kingdom. You're right. She's finally... <laughs> Not so fast. What? Surprise. You're probably wishing you would have tried to kill me too now. Why, you, Sydney, get away from him. You don't make the rules anymore, stepmother. I do. And you're hereby dethroned. <laughs> you wouldn't dare hurt me with that sword. Try me and see what happens. <gasps> Guards? No, you fools, get off of me. Finally, we have a good queen. Please, don't be anything crazy. I hope you didn't get a bad curse, honey. All right. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be I told you to clean this room, honey. I'm just a baby. Just because you're the youngest doesn't mean you don't have to clean. I'm just a baby. You and I, we're just not working out. I can buy myself flowers. I'm sorry. I guess I'm just a play date to you. What the hell are you doing? See, this is why I'm breaking up with you. Is that your report card, honey? Let me see. Hand it over. Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something! I need to see it. Let me tell you something! Only talking in viral TikTok sounds was really annoying. Let's hope this new curse isn't as bad. Must do everything you're... Oh, come on. I can't believe how bad your report card was. I told you I was sorry. You're still grounded for two weeks. What? Come on, how is that even fair? That's enough. Not another word from you, young lady. Mm. Stop fooling mm. around and go to school. Why haven't you been talking at all? You've been super quiet. Mm. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Can you just say something? Thank you so much. You are a literal lifesaver. That's such a cute squishmallow. You should just give it to me. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> Actually, I, I didn't mean to give you that. Uh, just let me keep it. Okay, you can keep it. Thank you, girly. I always wanted this one. Wait here. Jillian, wait. I'll be right back. Great, now I can't move. Stay here. Um, Jillian, wait. I'll be right back. Great, now I can't even move from this spot. Jillian? What are you doing? Move out of the way! Oh my gosh, thank you. So, you're the girl that's cursed to do whatever she's told. How do you know about that? Uh, you haven't seen the tweet? Jillian knew about my curse? Yeah, she tweeted it to the whole school. Now everyone's gonna try and take advantage of me. It's gonna be okay. Our curses only last for 24 hours. Tomorrow you'll get a new one. You have got to be kidding me. Hey, give me your lunch money. I know you can't resist. <laughs> Give that back! Stand back and don't talk to me anymore. Slap yourself. Ah! Now, punch yourself. <laughs> Jillian, what is your problem? You should know. Don't listen to Jillian. Thanks. This whole curse thing just isn't... Want to give Jillian your curse permanently? What? Blake, it said I had the option to give my curse to Jillian permanently. Are you? I don't know. The option just disappeared. She did try to have you hit by a train. Yeah, but... Look, I'm just saying, after that, if I were you, I'd give that curse to her in a heartbeat. Hey. Jillian. Aw, is that a new Squishmallow? Give it to me. You give that back right now. Hmm. No, I don't think I will. What is your problem with me? I know you tried to kill me on those train tracks. Maybe because I don't want you around anymore. Why? Because Blake was my boyfriend and he broke up with me because he likes you. I can't help who Blake likes and doesn't like, and you should- Cover your mouth. I don't want to hear anything from you. Mm. Sorry, I can't understand. What did you just do? Give me back my Squishmallow. Now. No, why did I- I gave you my curse. Permanently. Wait, what? What can I say, Jillian? Karma? It's a real bit. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from, or what decade I eat from. I'm just gonna let him dress me. I mean, how bad can it be? Bye, Mom, I'm going to class. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Aw, look at you. I wasn't wearing... What? Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not wearing this to school. Why is this not coming off? You may not. Remove that You gotta outfit. be kidding me. Honey, those low-rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? 
My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked early 2000s. <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this gonna go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever, and all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Sucks to be you. Hey, Mean Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> for the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. <sighs> what am I wearing? I can't go to school like this. <sighs> You may not remove the outfit. <laughs> What's up, cyborg? <laughs> you know what? Joke is on you guys, because in the year 3000, everyone is going to be dressed like this. So I'm actually ahead of the fashion trends. Right, well, until then, guess we get to enjoy your little fashion show. Can't wait to see what outfit her soulmate picks next. <laughs> Why do you look so happy? Because I learned I can take off these glasses just as long as I keep them on my head. I think you lost a lip gem, and you kind of looked better with the glasses on. You gotta help me find my soulmate, because I am not gonna be able to stop dressing in these ridiculous outfits until I kiss him. Sorry, girl. I mean, he's out there somewhere. You'll find him eventually. <sighs> what the? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? The 60s. 60s? Mom! Honey, I don't know why you're mad. You look so cute. Mom, this isn't cute. It's embarrassing. Please, don't make me go to school. You have a math test today. You're going. No way. <laughs> she looks like she's straight out of Teen Beach Movie. <laughs> hey, why haven't you been responding to my messages? You see, I wasn't able to because my phone turned into this today. Is that a radio? Sorry, girl. I gotta find my soulmate. Hey, what? I was talking around, and I think I know somebody who knows your soulmate. Who? Shh, there's no talking during the test. I'll tell you tomorrow. Another day, another outfit. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. I'm afraid to look. Oh my gosh, this might be the worst one yet. Am I wearing roller skates? Oh man... Mom! <laughs> Can we stop with the photos for like one second, please? Because this is serious. I can't go to school like this. It's against dress code. Can't you change into something else? Trust me, I have tried. You may not remove outfit. You'll be fine, honey. Don't worry. Okay, well, thanks for the help. Oh, hey! Sorry. Watch it. Oh, wow. Please tell me you have information about my soulmate. I do. So recently, there's this guy who's been tweeting stuff like, have you seen this girl wearing a 3000s outfit or a 60s outfit? Those are the outfits that I've been wearing. Yeah, thank you, Captain Obvious. I know. Problem is, yesterday he deleted his account. How am I even supposed to find him? Well, I'll keep doing some more digging. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Later, loser. <laughs> you know, when I find him, he is so dead. What's he going to do next, huh? The 70s? Medieval times. What? Medieval times. Oh, and just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. Mom. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom. But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now because I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at our school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on! Hurry up and change me out of this outfit right now! I got six students after this crown! Honey, I found your soulmate! Caveman era! Please tell me I'm wearing clothes! Well, you are, but look... Oh! What the... I can't believe this! Um, honey? No, Mom, you told me you knew my soulmate's name, so go ahead and tell me, because once I find out, he's gonna regret giving me this. What is that sound? Sweetheart, stay still. Please don't tell me it's what I think it is. Try to stay calm. 
Mom, just tell me everything I need to know about my soulmate. Okay, his name is Jason and he's gonna meet me after class. Got it. Honey, wait, that dress is so short, you could get dress coded. You know, if they haven't dress coded me by now, I think I'm good. Oh my gosh, is that a snake? Yeah, that's right. Say hello to my little friend. Ugh, please, stay back, I'm sorry for being mean. Oh, whoops. Hey, my apologies, I didn't mean to... It's you. It's me, I'm your soulmate. I was the one that contacted your mom. So you're the guy who's been picking all these crazy outfits for me? Yeah, and actually, I gotta say, I think this one's my best work yet. <laughs> so you think this is funny? I mean, maybe just a little bit. Oh, that is it, you little jerk. Oh, jeez. Do you have any idea how much you embarrassed me? I'm sorry, that was never my intention. I'm just really into history. And I thought it might be fun to dress up my soulmate in the most beautiful outfits I've ever seen throughout the eras. Damn it, that's actually kind of sweet. I guess I got a little carried away, but you're rocking all of them. But I'm sorry. Alright, I guess in that case I can forgive you. I think now's the part where you're supposed to kiss me, so I can, you know, stop dressing like this. Oh, uh, well, wait just a minute. There's one more outfit that you gotta try on. Oh no, I really don't, um... Ancient Rock. Wait just a minute. There's one more outfit that you gotta try on. Oh no, I really don't, um... Ancient Rock. What did you do to me? What am I wearing? Here, take a look. You know what? I'm not mad at this. <laughs> See? I knew you'd like it. Okay, you've had your fun using me as your model. Now, where's my kiss? <laughs> Come here. You may dress freely. Yes, finally! Would you like to pick what era your soulmate dresses from? What? Hey, now wait just a minute. Guys, she's over here, and she's got a new outfit. What are you supposed to be, Medusa? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see what I've had to put up with, so if I'm gonna get made fun of, so are you. Wait. Seriously, you had to pick the 70s. I mean, listen, you're pulling it off really well. <gasps> oh my gosh, girl, is this Australian hottie your soulmate? Yes. Yes, he is. Do 90s, honey. Ooh, yes. Really, babe, you're giving me the baggiest pants ever? Sorry, babe, but, you know, I gotta have a little revenge. Guess I deserve it. Give up my voice until I meet my soulmate, or give up my sight? Those are horrible options. Pick voice. But if I don't have my voice, then how- Shh. You'll be fine. Do you really want to be blind? Well, no. Then make your choice. The time is running out. Is her voice gone? Try and talk. No way. She can't talk anymore. <laughs> Girls, it's not polite to laugh. <laughs> Girls, don't forget we're throwing that ball tonight. Mother, please tell me she's not invited to the ball. Yeah, she'll ruin all the fun. Don't worry, girls. She's not invited. She'll be locked in her room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun being alone tonight. Hello, gorgeous. I heard you need true love's kiss to be able to speak again. So what do you say we give it a try? <clears throat> Excuse me. Why don't you get back to the party and leave the princess alone? Right, of course, your highness. You gotta watch out for those type of guys. It must be awful not being able to speak. Excuse me, what are you doing here? What's the matter? The princess is ill. Excuse us. How dare you? I don't ever want you getting your voice back. Mother, what if that prince was her soulmate? Well, he's going to have to die. Do we really have to kill the prince, mother? Yes, Danette. We can't risk her getting her voice back. We'll have to make his death look like an accident. Everyone picked to lose an ability. That's right. Find out which one he picked. We'll find his weakness and use it against him. And as for you, Danette, grab her other arm. You're staying here. And I'll go talk to the prince. <laughs> Mother, I'm back, and I found out his weakness. He can't swim until he kisses his soulmate. Oh, this is perfect. We'll drown him. We'll put soap all over the floor, blame it on the maid, say he slipped and fell in the pool. Stop moving. Danette, you watch her while we go handle the prince. Mother, I really don't think- Watch her! I... I can't do this. I'm not gonna let them kill the prince. I'm setting you free. I thought I was here to speak to your daughter. Whoops, clumsy me. <gasps> Help! <sighs> uh, he's not breathing. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Uh, do you know how to do CPR? I really hope this works. Ella, I'm sorry. I don't think he's gonna wake up. Ugh, he's not breathing. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Uh, do you know how to do CPR? 
I really hope this works. Ella, I'm sorry. I don't think he's gonna wake up. <gasps> I'm so happy you're okay. Hey, you just talked. My voice, it's... it's back. I think the CPR counted as a kiss. You. What? He's supposed to be dead. Stay away from him. <gasps> no! Mother, she must have kissed him. Well, you were right about one thing, stepmother. He was my soulmate. And now that I have my voice back, I intend to use it. Guards? You two are under arrest. What? What? Bye, mother. Bye, sister. Ugh, why isn't she getting arrested? Because she decided to help me, unlike you. You know, sometimes having a change of heart can get you out of trouble. Maybe you'll learn that someday. Why, you little... Didn't realize my soulmate was going to be so badass. And now, looks like she's queen. Mommy, what are you looking at? Uh, nothing, honey. Well, what's a sugar daddy? It's a candy. <laughs> well, then I wish for a sugar daddy. No! Oh, why did you do that? Look, guys, it's Sugar Daddy Girl. Shut up. I was six, okay? At least I won't have to worry about money. You did not just say that. I bet she's looking forward to it. Mom, are you sure there's no way for me to change my wish? Your wish is permanent, honey. I'm sorry. I can't help feeling like this is all my fault. That's because it kind of is. What was that? Nothing. Love you, Mom. <laughs> Here's your test back. Can I see you after class, please? Mr. Smith, if this is about my grade and my test, I... No, no, it's not about that. And, uh, please, call me Darren. Darren, I mean, uh, Mr. Smith, I mean, what are you doing? Well, this might come as a bit of a shock to you, but I actually really like you, Brina, as more than just a student. In fact, I really don't even need this job. I just teach here so I can see you. What? Yeah, I'm actually a multimillionaire, and I'm looking for someone like you to spoil. Um, I- Please, Brina, just think about it. All I would ask for is one favor in return. Mom, I think my wish just came. Honey, I don't feel good. Call an ambulance. What's going on with her, doctor? Your mother needs a kidney transplant, but her insurance does not cover it. Well, how much does the surgery cost? 145,000 out of pocket. Do it. I'll cover the expenses. Are you sure? Hey, Brina, did you change your mind? Yes, I'll do you a favor, but no one can know about this, okay? Of course, of course. Now, what did you want in return? $145,000. How much did your teacher give you? $145K to cover the surgery. Brina, are you kidding me? I know it sounds bad, but he just wanted to take me out to dinner, and he said all he wants to do is pay for my meal and just talk. Are you insane? There's no way on earth I'm letting my baby girl go meet up with some creep. He's 40 years old and you're still a minor. I know, but they said your insurance isn't going to cover your surgery. I was trying to save you. Listen to me. I will take money out of my savings. Mom, you will go broke. I don't care. Now you go give that teacher his money back right now. No daughter of mine is going to have a sugar daddy. But mom... I said no. Hey, you're early. Actually, I'm not going out to dinner with you after all. What? Why? I told my mom and she... You told your mom? Yeah, so listen, here's your check back. No! This wasn't a part of our deal. Hey! You're coming with me. Wait here. I'll be right back. I have to get out of here. Wait. He's an idiot. He didn't even take my phone. Alright, I'm back. Here, I bought this for you. Put it on. Yeah, that's not happening. Please put it on, Brina. I'd like you to wear that. Oh, so now you want to be nice. You know what, can I ask you something? Honestly, why are you so obsessed with me out of all the other students? Because you... You remind me of my wife when she was younger. She passed away right after we got married. Ever since then, I haven't really been the same. Whoa, now I almost feel bad for doing this to you. Doing what? It's all clear, guys. Police, let me see your hands. Oh. I'm so happy you're okay. Yeah, I just don't get it though. I wish for a sugar daddy, not for a creepy stalker teacher. Well, honey, look what came for you in the mail today. Wait, so it is a candy? <laughs> yep, and after I sue that teacher, we'll have plenty of money to pay for my surgery. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Ashley, you realize if you don't get to a thousand likes by the end of the year, you're not meeting your soulmate. Yes, I'm well aware of that, thank you. She doesn't need a soulmate to be happy anyways. You guys are literally so pathetic. <laughs> Hey, Ashley, do you think I could take a picture of your notes real quick? Uh, yeah, for sure, here. Sweet, thanks. Let me give you a like. <sighs> Thank you. Ha, she thought. <laughs> Just ignore them. How can I? 
I mean, at least you have 20 likes. I have two. And one of them's from you, and the other one's from my mom. Just face it, Chase, nobody likes me. I'm never gonna find my soulmate. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Um, who are you? My name is Lindsay, and I'm here to make you the most liked girl in school. You want to make me the most liked girl in school? Yep, that's right. Why? Well, in all honesty, honey, your mom sent me. She did? Yeah, she's kind of worried about your social life. But don't worry, I'm going to take care of everything. So, if we take a look at this score sheet, you can see that you and your friend currently rank, um, at the very bottom. Social outcast? Yes, I'm afraid so. But don't worry, that's what I'm here for. Yeah, we're gonna need to start with a full makeover. She's fine the way she is. Mm-hmm, says the social outcast. Hey, that's not very- We're wasting time, follow me. Okay, it's time to make you look irresistible. She's all done. Whoa, you look, uh, gorgeous. Yeah. Thanks. Love your outfit. Whoa, looks like somebody's got their fourth like. Time for the next step. You can only get likes in person, so we gotta go somewhere crowded. Um, I mean, we could go to the mall. Yes, great idea. Ashley, smile. If you want likes, you gotta be friendly. Go say hi. Uh, hi, I like your outfit. Thanks, I like yours too. Oh, hey buddy, um, I think you might have dropped this. Thank you. Mommy, look what she found. Oh my gosh, here, take a like. Oh, thank you. And just like that, she's up to 25 likes. Whoa, Ash, you uh, got more likes than me now. Oh, this is nothing. You need to be going out all the time, okay? Try to get invited to a party. Hey, Dylan, um, are you throwing a party this weekend? Uh-huh. You want to come? Can I? <laughs> yeah. I mean, the party's for 25 likes and up, so you're good. Can Chase come too? No way. No social rejects allowed. Oh, and wear something red. That's the theme. Chase, I don't feel right going to this party without you. It's fine. Just go. Can't you just get five more likes and then we can go together? Nah, you'll probably have more fun without me anyways. That's not true. But maybe you'll change your mind later. Cute dress, Ashley. Thanks. I like your dress. Thanks, Dylan. But why isn't anyone else wearing red? I thought that was the theme. Ah, uh, yeah. I kind of lied. I just wanted to see you in red. Okay. Ash, look, it's because I have a crush on you. Really? Yeah. Well, why haven't you ever said anything before? I figured you and Chase were a thing. What? Oh, no. Um, me and him, we're just, we're just friends. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, then, in that case, come with me. Okay. Finally, we're alone. But don't you want to go party? No. I just want to be right next to you. You definitely deserve a like. I am so proud of you. Hooking up with the captain of the football team? <sighs> Listen, we're not official just yet. Uh-huh. You guys kissed, right? Yeah. Well, then you might as well be official. Oh, it sounds like Chase is a little jealous. I'm not jealous. I just don't trust that guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whatever you say. Hey, we still on for movie night? Oh, actually, Dylan's taking me to see a movie. But we always do a movie night on Friday. It's like our tradition. Traditions change, bro. Hey, babe. Hey. She's got a boyfriend now, dude. It's time for you to move on. Right. Guess I'll see you later, Ash. Hey, Ashley. Whoa, did you just give me a like? Uh, yeah, you look so cute. But don't you hate me? Ashley, that was before you had so many likes. You're one of us now. You're almost at a thousand likes. Yeah, because you've had me going out to crowded places every day for a month now. Can't I take a break? No, your mom's coming back soon. Don't you want to surprise her with your soulmate? Yeah, I guess. I have a good feeling it's going to be Dylan. I feel really bad for Chase. I barely even talk to him anymore. He's a social reject. Please don't call him that. Forget about Chase, Ashley. We need to focus on your likes. Now, come on. We're going to the mall again. Ash? What are you doing here? I wanted to see you. Where's Dylan? He's at practice. Wait a minute, let me see that hat. Did you get a haircut and shave a little bit? Uh, yeah. I just figured it was time for a change. Well, you look, um, you look really nice. Thanks. Listen, Ash, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. I... Oh, 
It's Dylan. He needs my help. Ash, I don't think Dylan is a good guy for you. Excuse me? Dylan is using you. He doesn't care about you. Oh my gosh. Lindsay was right. You are jealous. Would you stop being so conceited and just listen to me? Just because you have over 900 likes doesn't mean everybody likes you. I'm just trying to watch out for you. Well, stop it. Because I don't need you to. You don't know what's best for me. Oh, and Lindsay does, huh? Yeah, look how many likes you got me. I don't give a shit about your likes, Ash, or your fake friends. Well, at least I have friends. Do whatever you want. I'm done. <laughs> well, then I guess I'll take my like back, too. Dylan? Oh my gosh, babe, our plan is working out so good. Yeah, being her fake boyfriend got me so many likes, so you two were using me? <gasps> Ash, listen, I- Save it. We're over. Mom, it's me. I know you sent Lindsay to help me, but I don't care about my likes anymore. Honey, what are you talking about? I don't know anyone named Lindsay. Wait, what do you mean you don't know Lindsay? I didn't send her. Honey, I'm about to go into my meeting. No, Mom. Hey, did you lose likes? Yeah, from Dylan, Chase, and Pepper. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? Because I want to know who you are. What do you mean? I talked to my mom, and she said she didn't send you. Damn it! You weren't supposed to find out yet. Ugh, I guess I might as well come clean. I'm here to steal your likes. What? Mm-hmm. You see, I found a way to hack the system. I steal people's likes, and then I sell them. And you know, most people don't even make it to 1,000, so you really impressed me, Ashley. I'm calling the cops. Put that down. Okay. Stop moving and sit still. System activated. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> yes, it's working. How are you even doing this? I just connect my technology to the like chip in the back of your neck and voila. Isn't it wonderful? <sighs> Ugh, this is taking forever. Please stop, I don't feel good. Mm, that's probably a side effect from the machine. What happens when I hit zero? You'll become a permanent social reject and there's a small chance that you could die. What? Yeah, that's what happened to the last person. Ash? Chase? Yeah, what the hell's going on? I'm stealing her likes, and while I'm at it, maybe I'll steal yours too. I knew you were a little fake. You let her go right now. Hmm, no thanks. I mean, what are you gonna do, you pathetic little piece of- Ugh. You were saying? Ash, if I unplug this machine, you could lose all your likes permanently. I don't care, just unplug it. She said if I hit zero, I could die. Here it goes. Hey, you feeling alright? Not really. Hold on to me. I'm gonna take you to the hospital. We were able to restore her likes, and we gave her a few extra ones, too. Hey, you're up. Chase? Where's Lindsay? Don't worry. She's been arrested. Where's my mom? She's on her way. Oh, and, uh, here. The cops found it on Lindsay. Thanks. Listen, Chase, I'm so sorry for the things that I said to you. You were right about Dylan. I don't know why I ever thought that he would like me. Hey, that was his loss. Any guy would be lucky to have you. Speaking of which, now you can meet your soulmate. We're soulmates, huh? Ash, I've been waiting to do this for a long time. Please let it be a new car. I really need a new car. A necklace? You know what? Maybe it'll be a diamond necklace. I mean, it's not a diamond necklace, but it's kind of cute, I guess. Guess my gift. I got a brand new car! Really? That's great. I know. So what'd you get? I got, um... Spiders. What? Where? Where did you put them? <gasps> Whoa, chill. There's no spiders. <sighs> oh my gosh, okay, I'm sorry. It's just that I'm super afraid of them. Does this thing tell me what people are afraid of or something? So for dinner, I was thinking we could go to... What? You're cheating on me? Uh, I, uh... We're done. Babe, but I... Uh, mm-mm. We're done. Hey, is mom back home yet? No. What's wrong? Well, I've had a horrible day and I just wanted to talk to... You good? You're pregnant? How do you... How did you find out? You found my pregnancy test, didn't you? Were you snooping in my room? No, I, I swear I wasn't. Really? Well, then how do you know? 
I have my ways, but don't turn this around on me. You're the one who did the dirty. Shut up. I never meant for this to happen. Didn't you say your boyfriend moved out of state? Yeah, because of this. Really? Yes, he took off as soon as he found out the news. I told you, he wasn't a good guy. I know. What am I gonna do? Look, I think that your first step is for you to tell mom the truth. Mom's plane just landed. She's gonna be here in 30 minutes. Ugh, I'm so nervous. Hey, we're gonna tell her together, okay? Hey, girls. Did you miss me? We did, but listen, um, Jenna has something she needs to tell you. Okay, what, Jenna? Well, Mom, uh, I don't know how to say this, but I... She's not feeling well, like, at all. So, um, I'm gonna go take her into my room and, uh, go take care of her. What are you doing? Ow! You think mom kidnapped us because the magic necklace told you so? Yes. Well, it didn't say kidnapped exactly. It just said that we weren't her kids. Come on. What if we're adopted? Why wouldn't she tell us that then? We're basically both adults now. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna go talk to her. No, Jenna, wait. Mom, don't listen to anything Jenna tells you. She is super delusional right now. Relax, Jenna already told me everything, and the truth is, girls, you both were abandoned on my doorstep. What? what? Yes, Jenna, you were just one years old, and honey, you were just a baby. I didn't have the heart to tell you guys. I'm sorry. Guess that explains why you don't have any pregnancy photos with us. Or pictures with dad. Jenna, we're gonna help you raise this baby together, and from now on, no more secrets. Give the pizza guy a tip. <gasps> you good? Kaylee, what's wrong? I'll tell you later. Let's just say he's not getting any of this. Come on! Share the same hair or share the same clothes as my soulmate. I didn't spend two years growing this hair out for it to get ruined. We'll share clothes. Let's hope this prince soulmate of mine has some style. Soulmate's clothes on. A prince would never wear this? Is my soulmate some sort of a lumberjack? Or worse, what if he's a peasant? What are you wearing? I hate to inform you of this, mother, but these are my soulmate's clothes. Is your soulmate a peasant? Possibly. Absolutely not. You are forbidden to meet this boy. Yes, mother. I need to go out. I can't be seen in this. Why isn't it coming off? You may not remove his outfit. Great. Mother said never to go anywhere without my crown, but today I can't let anyone know I'm a princess. I really hope I don't get recognized. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. I swear, I didn't mean to- You have the same outfit as- Me. You're wearing my same clothes, so we must Shh, be- smooth. Someone could hear you. I can't have people knowing my soulmate is a peasant. Who do you think you are? Look at me. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Really look at me? Uh, okay. Ow! I am the princess, you idiot. Wait, you are? Yes, and I have a ball to go to tonight, and I am stuck in your dumb clothes. I need you to do me a favor. Okay, I'm back, and I need you to wear this. You want me to wear a dress? That's not happening. But you have to. I can only wear what you wear. Please. It's not my fault you picked... Hey, come on, don't cry. <sighs> All right, fine, princess. I'll do it. Okay, thank you. Soulmates, clothes changing. Peasant, it worked. My name is Nick, and I can't zip this up. <laughs> Has anyone seen my daughter? My mom's coming. My mom's coming. Go hide in that alleyway. Oh. Hello, mother. I've been looking for you. How are you wearing that dress? What are you talking about? You can only wear what your soulmate wears. Did you disobey me and speak to him? Mother, I would never directly disobey you. The system just had a glitch, and now it looks like I don't have to wear my soulmate's clothes anymore. Okay, then you better be at the ball tonight and stand up straight. Of course, mother. She seems nice. Yeah, she's, uh, she's something. Listen, princess, I can barely breathe in this dress. I just need 30 minutes to make an appearance, then I'll tell my mom that I feel sick and I'll be out of there. There's a lot of princes at the ball. I can see that. Since you're forbidden to talk to your soulmate, why don't you talk to one of them, honey? Just because you and dad didn't work out doesn't mean that me and my soulmate won't. Excuse me? Go to your room. Fine. Perfect timing, actually. What was that? Nothing. I have to get back to him before he starts ripping this- Soulmate's clothes coming- I have to get back to him before he starts ripping this- Soulmate's clothes coming off. Dress. Psst, Nick, you can take this off now, and quickly, because there is a giant hole in the back. Okay, but you realize it's night now. Yeah, and? And I like to sleep shirtless. 
okay, well, you can't do that because that means I would have to sleep without a shirt. <laughs> well, I made a sacrifice for you today, so maybe... Oh! You know what? Just for that comment, you are going to be wearing this robe tonight. Are you serious? Yeah, go change. Hey! <sighs> the things I do for you. Soulmate changing clothes. Much better. How long am I going to have to keep wearing your clothes? I don't know. As soon as this soulmate thing wears off, I guess. Well, then there's something about me you need to know, princess. There's something about me you need to know. Wait, before you tell me, I just want to say I really appreciate you wearing my clothes for me, and I don't care if you're a commoner. I, I want to be with you. Princess, the queen has been looking for you. I was just- Enough! You're coming with us. Good morning. Mother, about last night- Don't worry about it, honey. I've taken care of everything. You no longer need to wear your soulmate's clothes. Look. What did you do? Well, since the king is in charge of the system, I made a deal with him for you to marry his son. Well, that's ridiculous, and I'm not agreeing to that. Honey, the deal has already been made. The prince is on his way. What? It had to be done. No. Yes, you certainly won't be marrying your peasant soulmate. I present to you your fiancé. Hello, princess. But I... Thought that I was a peasant? I only dress like that because I don't like to get recognized. I'm sorry. It's all right. I wanted to tell you, but I'm glad to see that you love me for me. And I love you. Make a wish! How many years did it give you? Ten! She has to get married at seventeen? She won't even be an adult. Don't worry, my dear. We'll find her a good prince to marry. Besides, she doesn't seem like she's gonna be the picky type. <laughs> Your seventeenth birthday is in one week and you still have not chosen a prince to marry. That's because princes are stuck up and all they care about is money and power. Maria, that's not true. Not all princes are like that. Well, Mother said that when I find the right guy, my day's left will turn from red to green. That is a myth, princess. And you are running out of time. But luckily, I'm available. I think I'd rather die, Jay. You will if you don't choose someone. I am not going to let that happen. If you don't pick someone in the next few days to marry, I will have no choice but to have you married to Jay. What? No! My word is final, Maria. Princess Maria, there's someone here to see you. Excuse me, princess. My name is Prince Adam. Well, hello, Prince Adam. Oh my gosh, he is so hot. Could the prince and I please get some privacy? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about that. No worries, princess. So, I'm guessing my father sent you up here? Well, you seem like a very nice guy. And I would like to get to know you, but I just wish that I wasn't being forced to marry someone right now. I completely understand. That is why I want to help you. Help me? Yes. Have you heard of the legend of the Wishing Rock? Yes, my mother used to tell me stories of it all the time. I want to find it for you, so you may wish to be married whenever you please. You... you would do that? Of course. This system isn't fair, and I want to make you happy. I will be back with your Wishing Rock in three days' time. Thank you. You... you don't know how much this means to me. Princess, I'm back. Unfortunately, I could not find the rock. I think we should get married instead. But what about the system not being fair? You said you were gonna help me. You're not Prince Adam, are you? Of course it is me, princess. Who else would it be? I'm telling you, father, that isn't him. No, you're just saying that because you don't want to get married. You didn't want to marry Jay, so I found you this nice prince. I know, but my day's left turn back to red, and remember mother said- Your mother is gone. And I will not lose you two over your stubbornness to settle on a man. You and Adam are to be married tomorrow at sunset. You can't do that. Don't insult my authority, Maria. My word is always final. Why the sad face, princess? Leave me alone, Jay. Perhaps you'd rather talk to Prince Adam. Better? How did you- I stole the wishing rock. And if you don't do exactly as I say, you will never see Prince Adam again. Too bad this rock can't make people fall in love. It also can't bring people back from the dead either. Such a shame. I really did like your mother. Where is Adam? He'll be fine as long as you cooperate. Guards! I wish for her to fall asleep until tomorrow. Now to take care of your father. Wake up, princess. Time to get ready. You look gorgeous. I've waited for this day for so long. Maria. Adam? How did you- I escaped. Hurry. We don't have much time before they notice. Jay has taken control of everyone, and he's going to execute your father. What? Don't worry. I have a plan. What is it you wanted to do before our wedding, Maria? This. 
Oh, now Adam. Oh. Make your wish. I wish that I, I wish that all princesses could be married whenever they please. Are you all right? I think so. Hey, you have infinite time now. I do? Yes, look. Oh my gosh, I do. Adam, you're amazing. Thank you, but I couldn't have done this without your help as well. Wait, what about my father? Quick, use the wishing rock. I wish my father was in this room. Maria! Oh my god, you were right about Jay. You were right about everything. I should have never yelled at you hey, like that. it's okay. Everything's all right now. I'm free. Your time, it's infinite. You used the wishing rock? Oh, Maria, come here. I'm so sorry for everything. So, what will you do with the rock? I'm going to lock it away, somewhere safe. This much power isn't good for anyone. I guess I should be going, princess. Oh, or you know, you could stay, if, if you like. Uh, yes, I would love that. I'm just so happy you're okay, princess. The Greenheart Kingdom has gotten more powerful, and their king has vowed to capture you. Oh my gosh, Mom, I told you I can protect myself. No, we're joining forces with another kingdom. What kingdom? The Blue Heart Kingdom. You are to marry their prince. Son, their kingdom needs our help. I'm not marrying Bree from the Red Heart Kingdom. This is stupid. If you bring him here, I'm not speaking to him. At least give him a chance. No, literally everyone knows that people from the Blue Heart Kingdom are stuck up, sloppy, and they don't even wear their kingdom's colors. Like, who does that? Stop it. Go over there. Princess, it is a pleasure to meet you. And may I introduce my son, Prince Devon. <clears throat> Say hello. Hello, Bree. Hello, Devon. You can't force me to marry him. I'm sorry, but we need his kingdom's protection from the green heart. No, we don't. We can protect ourselves. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go have a little word with the prince. Honey, wait. Devon, your majesty, your help is no longer required, so, um, you guys can just go. Great, come on, dad, let's get out of here. Son, now wait just a minute. We agreed you two would be married. I didn't agree to anything. Yeah, neither did I. So, goodbye, Prince Devon. It was really nice meeting you. Yeah, real nice. <laughs> What's up with you two? Is something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. Just, um, have a safe trip home. I still can't believe you did that. Well, Mom, actually, I've been thinking a lot about the prince, because yesterday when we touched, my heart- My queen! The green hearts! They're here! Stay in this room. Mom, is that you? Surprise. You're- The king of green hearts. Sorry to tell you, your guards didn't make it. Why are you doing this? What do you want? Revenge! Your father stole your mother from me. She was supposed to be my wife. What? You have to let that go. My father passed away years ago. I know, which means there's no one left to protect you. Your powers are no match for mine. You're coming with me, and you're never gonna see your mother again. Oh. You came back. Listen, when I shook your hand, I felt something. I did too. I think somehow we created a new power. Or maybe our powers are stronger together. That could be the way we defeat this guy. Here, give me your hand. Hey, moron, come and get us. Now. No! The Green Hearts have been defeated, and the wedding is off. But, honey, the legend says if two people's heart colors mix together, that means they're soulmates. Hey, I just wanted to say thank you, and if, you know, you want to come back and visit me, you're more than welcome to. Want to see your boyfriend's feelings? 100%? Guess he's a keeper. Got this for you. Thanks. Of course, babe. Derek, is that you? Olivia. You two know each other? Yeah, we used to... Date. We were together for a little bit. We should all go out sometime. Yeah, we should. Boyfriend lost a little feelings. Hey, babe, do you maybe want to hang out tonight? Oh, sorry, babe. I already invited the boys over. They'll be here in a little bit. It's game night. More feelings lost. What is going on? You know what? Forget it. I don't care if it's boys' night. I have to go talk to him. Derek, I... <gasps> oh! Holy shit! Is she wearing my... Um, we we can explain. You should have knocked. Oh! Want to get revenge on your boyfriend? Pick your revenge for boyfriend. Revenge is ready. 
Take your revenge. Remember to use it wisely. Hey, can we talk? There is nothing to talk about. You and I are over. No, don't say that, okay? I just found out that Olivia is with another guy. Well, you know what they say. Karma is a real- Maria, please. What I did was stupid, and I promise it's not gonna happen again. I want you, not her. Thanks for giving me a second chance. Of course. I'm not one to hold a grudge. You look so beautiful, babe. Thanks. Babe, I gotta tell you. This food is, like, really good. I'm glad you like it. I made it myself. What? I didn't know you could cook. You even got my favorite drink. Should we make a toast? To us. To us. Oh, babe, I hope you don't mind I switched our drinks. The one you gave me smelt a little strong. Whoa! You switched them? Yeah, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. <laughs> You've been coughing a lot. Are you okay? You know what? I'm gonna go get you some water. Your revenge has backfired. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Would you like to receive the antidote? Is that even a question? Yes. Sorry I took so long, babe. Here you go. Thanks. What a hero. Boyfriend has lost a little feelings. That boy gains and loses feelings for me every five seconds. Olivia? What the hell are you doing here? It's Derek. He's in the hospital. Haven't you checked your phone? He got into a car accident. Derek? Bria, you came. Oh, I'm so glad I'll have you to take care of me. Actually, no, you won't. Because I'm breaking up with you. What? No! Please. It's like I said, Derek. Karma. It's a real bit. Learn a fact about every item you touch, or forget a memory every time you touch an item. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Got my birthday gift. Let me see. My parents got it for me. It's designer. Parents bought this at Walmart. What? Why are you making that face? <laughs> Nothing. It's so cute. Thanks. It was probably so expensive. Hey, Mom. Is it cool if I go to the beach with Ryan just for a few minutes? Darling, you know how I feel about you going in the water. Mom, your irrational fear of me being eaten by a shark is not going to come true. I promise you. It's actually very rational, dear. So the answer is no. It's not safe. Mom, come on, please. Just this one time. Took you from your mom. Why are you looking at me like that? No, it's just you're right. Forget I even asked. Okay. This system has to be broken. Hey, psst, over here. Ryan, what are you doing at my window? Just trying to sneak you out from your strict mom so you can go to the beach. Did you dye your hair? What? Part of your transformation. You good? Hello? Yeah, let's sneak out of here and go to the beach. I need some fresh air. Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where your mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Okay, this is gonna sound crazy. You think you're turning into a mermaid? And your mom took you from your real mom? But think about it, my mom never tells me that she loves me, and she never wants me to go in the ocean. She's paranoid of sharks. Do you really believe that story? I mean, it sounds more realistic than you turning into a fish. <laughs> You know what, you're right. The system is probably just broken, and my hair is probably just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Yeah. Do you want me to walk you home? No offense, but she doesn't really like you, so... It's cool. Just be careful. Thanks. I will. Oh, darling, can you get me my phone? Of course. Do you smell that? It smells like... salt water. I don't smell anything. Has secret videos of you? It's just a glitch. She wouldn't have something like that on her phone. Wait, what's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. <coughs> what are you watching? What's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. <coughs> what are you watching? Were you watching a video? I was just reading one of your texts. Um, you got a text from my doctor saying, um, this is urgent. She needs to come in for her next appointment. Give me that. I'm really sorry. I, I should probably just go to bed. It's getting late. Not so fast. It's only 6 p.m. Is your hair turning blue? We're going to see your doctor right now. Have you noticed any changes happening to you lately? Be honest, honey. No. Interesting. Did you notice your hair is changing color? Yeah, I think my hair is just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's take your temperature, open. Using this to drug you. Actually, I was wondering, could I use the restroom really quick? 
<sighs> of course. Just don't be too long, okay, honey? I have to get out of here. Your real mom is behind door. I have to get out of here. Real mom is behind door. Mom? You want me to drain the tank? If I do that, won't you die? Oh, um, here. Thank you. How did you do that? How did you just transform into a human? I can't believe you found me. I can transform into a human because I'm part human, and so are you. They took you away from me. They told me I would never see you again. Dying. You're dying. I need to get back to the ocean. They've had me here for so long. Your father, he tried to stop them. My real father, where is he? Your father is dead. He died trying to save you. How could you? <laughs> we had to do whatever it took. Research is what we live for. Now get back in the tank. You stay away from her. <laughs> you can't stop us. You're turning into a mermaid too. Time to give up. Not quite. Freeze, both of you. Ryan. Hey, let go of me. You should be arresting the mermaid freaks, not us. Melanie, are you okay? Both of us need to get to the ocean. Okay, come on. My dad and I will help you guys. Has crush on you. We can take my police car. Come on. Thank you. <sighs> we made it to the ocean. I don't feel so... Melanie? Melanie! Whoa. You look amazing. You can't tell... Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. Thank you. We must go. But... I'll come visit you again. I promise. Okay. Ryan, wait. Just in case I don't see you for a little while. What are you... <sighs> don't take too long to come back, okay? Babe, I got... Don't you dare use any more of those words. Understand? Five million words? That's ridiculous. You won't be using any of those. I'm... What did I tell you about talking? I'm breaking up with you. Oh, really? Where are you gonna go? You don't have any money. Nine million words this year, huh? No one needs that many. Hey, I need you to go to the store for me. I don't like that pink shirt you bought yesterday. I want you to return it. You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. Hi, what would you like to return? Just that? Okay, hold on one second. That'll be $6.99 back on the card. Please help me. Please help me. Oh, uh, did you need my help finding something in the store, or...? Hey, can we hurry up the line? I'm on my lunch break. I don't got all day. Do you need medical attention? No. Hey, it's okay. Can you wait over there for me, hun, and I'll get someone to help you? You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. I'm so sorry, the line is really busy right now, but my manager will be over here to help you soon. There you are. You took forever. Did you return the shirt? Good, let's get out of here. Damn, why do I feel like I'm forgetting to do something? Wait a minute. You were supposed to make dinner tonight. Go on. What? Is dinner ready? Hey, 8,996? You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. Go on, talk. Explain yourself. It was an accident. I was just telling the cashier thanks. Uh-huh. You sure about that? Yes, I swear. You should really have your dinner. It's getting cold. That's enough talking out of you. Go to sleep. Bed? Now. How did you make that chicken? Why? Because, after I ate it, my head is filling. <sighs> my phone is dead and his is locked away. I have to get the charger. Please hurry up. <gasps> yes. 911, what's your emergency? I need help. Thank you for the information, ma'am. Officers will arrive shortly. You. You thought you could get away with putting something in my food? Your words. Why did you use up so many? Actually, don't speak. I'll mm. find out. You can't outsmart me. <sighs> so step away from the girl, let's see your hands. Looks like I just did. No! Time to finally find out my soulmate status. He's engaged. Hey, did you find out your soulmate status? Yeah, I did. Girl, me too. Mine is single. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so embarrassing, but mine literally has a girlfriend. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I mean, it's not like he's engaged or something. Oh my gosh, imagine. <laughs> what are you doing? I was just cleaning my closet. 
Uh huh. I just got a call from your school today saying that you failed a test. Yeah, it's because I was a little bit distracted today. I'm sorry. I go do your homework right now. This is ridiculous. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if I went onto YouTube for like one minute. Royal Prince speaks out about being forced into arranged marriage. How shall I marry this woman when my soulmate is still out there? Damn, arranged marriages really suck. Hey, I can't really talk right now. My stepdad's gonna- Forget about him! Haven't you heard the news? The prince left his kingdom. He's looking for his soulmate. Rumor has it, the prince is headed this way. Listen, if I tell you something, do you promise not to tell anyone else? Yeah, of course. Okay, my soulmate status says engaged. It does? Wait, the prince is engaged. I know, so do you think him and I might be- Soulmates? Come on, get real. You and the prince? <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, I heard a prince is coming into our town. Yeah, I heard that too. You stay clear of him, understood? Wait, why? Because I said so. Now get to school. I don't want you being late. What is going on? Why is everyone in the hallway? Oh my god, shut up! The prince is here. Look! Hello, everyone. I have been informed that my soulmate might be at this very school. That is why I'm breaking off my engagement in hopes to find her. Can you believe the prince is single now? Yeah, that's really crazy. Are you okay? Excuse me for a second. Hey, did you leave school early yesterday? Yeah, I kind of got overwhelmed. The prince was there. What? He was? Yeah. Did you talk to him? Why do you care if I talk to him? You don't even know who he is. I know more than you understand. The prince is interviewing girls today. He is? Yeah, he's trying to find out which girl is his soulmate. But how's he gonna know which one's the right girl? He said he'll just know. Isn't that so romantic? Mm-hmm. I've interviewed at least 60 girls today, and not one of them was my soulmate. Are you sure, Saya? Yes, trust me. When I find the right girl, I'll know. Excuse me, Your Highness? Ahem. <clears throat> the prince is done with interviews for today. You can come back again tomorrow. No, no, wait just a moment. I think I want to make time for this girl. What's your name, love? My name is Heaven. That's a beautiful name. My name is Henry. Prince Henry of Onnington. Thank you, Mildred. You may leave us now. I can't believe we have so much in common. Tell me, Heaven, are you close with your parents? Actually, both of my biological parents passed away. I'm so sorry. It's all right. I live with my stepdad now. Oh, I see. Listen, Henry, the reason why I think you and I are soulmates is because when you said you were ending your engagement... Your Highness, I must talk to you. <clears throat> in private. We saw you talking to the prince. Yeah, he had to go. But he said he's going to meet me again tomorrow. Really? <laughs> How exciting. Yeah. I can't wait to see him today. What? Why are you looking so sad, Heaven? No reason. Come on, she's obviously upset about the prince. You heard about his engagement being back on, huh? Yeah. Aw, she really liked him, didn't she? <laughs> Sorry to crush your dreams, but I heard his father locked him in his castle. Not like you had a chance with him anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Psst, Heaven, over here. Don't cry, love. Henry? Hey, I don't have much time. I escaped the castle. The gods are looking for me. I don't know. Maybe you should go back. After all, you are engaged. Heaven, it's not by choice. My father is blackmailing me. Wait, what? Why would he do that? I don't have much time. Here, meet <gasps> me back here tomorrow at five. Henry, I... Please, love. We have more we need to discuss. All right, fine. I'll be here. You think you can get away with lying? I told you not to talk to the prince. How do you... Your friend sent me some photos of you talking to him. Do you think that just because I'm your stepfather, you don't have to listen to me? That's not it at all. It's just that I know he's my soulmate. Oh, really? Yes, and I'm meeting him tonight. Absolutely not. What do you have against the prince? You know what, Ben? I'm going, and you can't stop me. I said no, Heaven. You're not going. Ben, let me out. It's for your own good, Heaven. This just in, the search for Prince Henry continues. I'm sorry for standing you up, Henry. Ben, I'm hungry. Can I please have something to eat? Hello? Heaven? Heaven, are you there? Henry! Henry, up here! Heaven, there you are. How did you find me? I asked some of your classmates where you lived. Hang on, I'm coming up. Okay. Ugh. So your stepfather locked you in here? He's trying to keep me away from you, but I don't know why. Wait, is this a picture of him? Yeah. Uh-oh. What? Heaven. He's one of my father's biggest enemies. He hates my whole family. We have to get out of here. Where is your stepfather now? I don't know. I'm right here. Ugh. 
<coughs> Come on, we're leaving. Heaven, get back here. No. Oh. Oh my gosh, Henry. <coughs> what? Boy has been. Don't worry, I took care of him. I'm gonna get you help, okay? Oh. <gasps> Please tell me he's gonna be okay. Yes, the doctor said he expects him to make a full recovery. Can I see him? Mm, his fiance is already on her way, so I think it's best if you just wait out here. Absolutely not. Your, your majesty. My son's engagement to that woman is over. I'm no longer enforcing it. I had no idea his true soulmate was so brave. I'm so sorry about all of this. It is a pleasure to meet you, my dear. I can't thank you enough for saving my son. Oh, really? He was the one saving me. Well, I can assure you your stepfather won't be bothering you again. Now come, dear. Let's go see Henry. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Wait, love. Check his status. Finally. Your test scores are in. Your intelligence level will now appear above your head. What does mine say? You got a six. Yes! Wait, what does mine say? You got a two. What? I have been refreshing Instagram for the past five minutes. Why will nothing load? That's because I unplugged the internet. You need to read more. Mom, reading isn't going to make my number go up. You listen to me. You're an embarrassment to this whole family. So you get that number up by the end of the month or you're out of here. <laughs> Crystal, what is up with you? Here, take this, okay? What is this? It stimulates the neurons in your brain, which causes a chemical reaction, which allows you to process information at a Okay, hold on. English, please. Look, basically, it makes you super smart. This is a prank, isn't it? Look, I know I'm not that smart, but I'm also not that dumb either, so... Crystal, I made my intelligence level go up. See? Wait, how did you do that? I'm telling you, it's the pill. Look, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but just take it. Jamie, wait. I have to go. Hey, they're handing out graduation gowns right now. I don't think she's gonna need one of those, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. I swear this pill better freaking work. Crystal? Crystal, are you still with us? <laughs> What's the answer to number two? Well, it's simple math, really. You take the numerator, divide it by the denominator, multiply that times 2, which will give you 81, of course, and then you take the square root, which will give you 9. How'd she do that? What the hell? Correct, but Crystal! What? Your number went up! How'd you solve that equation so fast? That was a warm-up question. Any fifth grader could have solved it. Really? Because you seem pretty impressed by it. Yeah, only because you were so dumb before. How did you make your intelligence level go up, though? You don't like me, do you? Uh, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Yeah, but why is that? I mean, we were such good friends until high school. It's because of Jamie, isn't it? She intimidates you? She does not! She does. Which explains why you never make direct eye contact with her. You feel like she replaced you as my best friend. You a psychologist all of a sudden? Come on, Viv, let's go. And you two are dating now, aren't you? What? How do you know? The way that he's protective over you, it indicates that he cares about your feelings. And you two also smell very similar, which tells me that you're probably- Watch it, Crystal! Mind your own business. How the hell did I know all that? Guess who got an A on every test today? Mom? Guess she's not home yet. Ah. Oh. Ow. Oh. Hello? Hey, there's something I have to tell you about the pills. Is it that they have side effects? Because I think I'm feeling them right now. Oh no. Um, just... Oh. Just hang on. I'll be right there. Okay. Oh. Oh my gosh, Crystal, here, you have to take this. Are you feeling all right now? Yeah, much better. Good, but about the pills, if you stop taking them, you... You what? You... you die. Jamie, are you kidding me right now? How could you not tell me about this? I... I didn't find out until yesterday. Where are those pills from? I'm gonna be in so much trouble. They're from a lab that my sister works at. I sort of stole them. This is 30 days worth. So about a month. Jamie, what happens when these run out? Uh... Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember, mine was just that I couldn't eat candy. And after you kiss your soulmate, your curse goes away. So once you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. I miss her. Me too. You can't tell anyone about your curse. 
Alina, meet your new stepmother. Shake my hand, don't just stand there. She needs to learn manners. This is my daughter Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. You should just give it to me. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. You're going on a business trip for five months? You'll be fine. No, you cannot leave me alone with these two bi- Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Uh. Okay, let it go. Look, by the time I come back, you'll probably have met your soulmate and your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed your soulmate? No, I... I haven't. I think my soulmate's the prince. I'll be kissing him soon. Good for you. So, what's your curse? I'm actually not really allowed to say. Literally, just say it. My gosh. I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? You're joking. <laughs> hmm. Pat your shoulder. <gasps> Mother, she wasn't kidding. Pull your hair. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you guys, this curse is not a joke. You can't just stop talking. From now on, you're going to do exactly as we say. Pour me some more tea. Give me a back massage. Buy us some milk and hurry. I'm back. The milk is in the fridge. What's up with you? Nothing. Alina, tell us why you're happy. Go on, speak. When I was at the market, I saw the prince, and I'm pretty sure he's my soulmate and he can break my curse. What? How do you know the prince is your soulmate? Tell us. We know you can't resist. Someone told me to go find my soulmate, and after they said that, I went straight to the prince and held his hand. And what exactly did he say to you? He told me he wanted to see me again, but then his guards came and they didn't let me talk to him anymore. Of course they wouldn't let you talk to him. You're a peasant and he's a prince. Mother, you told me the prince was my soulmate. He's supposed to kiss me and break my curse, not hers. Remember, she has to do everything she's told. So we'll just tell her. You are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. No. Alina, get the door. Alina. Your Highness. I just had to see you again. I had my guards find out where you live. Listen, I need your help with my curse. My stepmother, she's controlling- Your Highness. Hi. Ignore her. She's our maid. You're not their maid, right? Of course she is. Tell him you're our maid. I'm their maid. Listen, I need to speak to Alina alone. But your Highness. You heard the prince, stepmother. He wants to speak to me alone. Of course. Just don't listen to a word he tells you. So you need help breaking your curse. What? Alina, listen to me. You need me to break your curse. Right, yes, my curse. You still haven't told me what it is. But it doesn't matter, because I'm almost positive I'm your soulmate. So, I should just... You are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. Oh. Okay, well, that... That hurt. I'm so sorry. You don't want me to kiss you? No, I didn't mean to do that. I forgot that I wasn't allowed to- Look, it's alright. Maybe we just aren't soulmates after all. Hey, weirdo. Ugh, rude. How many you have left? Only five to go? You do realize the last five are like the hardest to finish. Yeah, well not for me. Stop! <laughs> hey, Lauren. Yeah, <laughs> Ow! Sorry, it was for a task. Fine, I understand, but you owe me one now. Yeah, whatever. Get off of me! Gotta complete my task, bruh! Watch out, I think he's gonna throw something! Warning, school is entering red zone. Please help me! Whoa, what happened to you? The tasks, they're, they're getting worse, everyone here. They're going nuts! Hey, remember when I said you owe me one? Please, put those down. Chill, I'm not gonna use this on you. Wait, uh, what are you doing? Look, I had to. Just here, take these scissors and come with me. I need to show you something. We can't just leave that girl like that. Yeah, we can. Now, do you see that guy over there? Yeah. He only has one task left. You have to take him out. What? No. You have to. No, I'm not- Hey, sorry to do this to you, but I only got one task left, and it's a really bad one. <laughs> I knew you had it in you. Come on, we should go. I can't believe I just did that. Um, Lauren? Why does my next task say for me to kill somebody, but it's already checked off? I don't think that guy made it. I don't feel so good. Hey, listen, you have to complete everything. What does it say for you to do next? 
We have to save the girl that you hurt. Look at me. If we're gonna go save her, you need this. You came back. Yeah, I'm gonna save you, okay? How? The school's on lockdown until someone wins the game. <sighs> Wait, I have an idea. The nurse's office. It has tons of medical supplies. I'm gonna go get some. All right, but like, be careful. I will. I grabbed a bunch of stuff, and luckily for you, I know how to do stitches. Okay, you should be feeling a lot better now. Yeah, thanks. I only have one more left. So do I. What are you doing? You're like not that smart. My last task was to betray someone. That's why you helped me. Wow, look who's catching on. Anyways, sorry about this. No! Wait, what do you say we make a deal? I'm listening. My last task is to make sure you don't win the game. So if you drop that weapon right now, I'll win and we can split the cash 50-50. Huh, I mean, I would like to end this craziness. So what do you say? I'll take the deal. Be careful, I don't trust her. Here's your last hundred. Thank you. But I decided I want all the money. Your test scores are in. Your intelligence level will now appear above your head. What does mine say? You got a six. Yes. Wait, what does mine say? You got a two. What? I have been refreshing Instagram for the past five minutes. Why will nothing load? That's because I unplugged the internet. You need to read more. Mom, reading isn't going to make my number go up. You listen to me. You're an embarrassment to this whole family. So you get that number up by the end of the month or you're out of here. Crystal, what is up with you? Here, take this, okay? What is this? It stimulates the neurons in your brain, which causes a chemical reaction, which allows you to process information at a Okay, hold on. English, please. Look, basically it makes you super smart. This is a prank, isn't it? Look, I know I'm not that smart, but I'm also not that dumb either, so... Crystal, I made my intelligence level go up. See? Wait, how did you do that? I'm telling you, it's the pill. Look, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but just take it. Jamie, wait. I have to go. Hey, they're handing out graduation gowns right now. I don't think she's gonna need one of those, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. I swear this pill better freaking work. Crystal? Crystal? Are you still with us? <laughs> What's the answer to number two? Well, it's simple math, really. You take the numerator, divide it by the denominator, multiply that times two, which will give you 81, of course, and then you take the square root, which will give you nine. How'd she do that? What the hell? Correct, but Crystal, what? your number went up. How'd you solve that equation so fast? That was a warm-up question. Any fifth grader could have solved it. Really? Because you seem pretty impressed by it. Yeah, only because you were so dumb before. How did you make your intelligence level go up, though? You don't like me, do you? Uh, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Yeah, but why is that? I mean, we were such good friends until high school. It's because of Jamie, isn't it? She intimidates you? She does not! She does. Which explains why you never make direct eye contact with her. You feel like she replaced you as my best friend. You a psychologist all of a sudden? Come on, Viv, let's go. And you two are dating now, aren't you? What? How do you know? The way that he's protective over you, it indicates that he cares about your feelings. And you two also smell very similar, which tells me that you're probably- Watch it, Crystal. Mind your own business. How the hell did I know all that? Guess who got an A on every test today? Mom? Guess she's not home yet. Ugh. Ow. <sighs> Hello? Hey, there's something I have to tell you about the pills. Is it that they have side effects? Because I think I'm feeling them right now. Oh no, um, just... Uh, just hang on, I'll be right there. Okay. Oh. Help. Oh my gosh, Crystal, here, you have to take this. Are you feeling alright now? Yeah, much better. Good, but about the pills... If you stop taking them, you... You what? You... You die. Jamie, are you kidding me right now? How could you not tell me about this? I... I didn't find out until yesterday. Where are those pills from? I'm gonna be in so much trouble. They're from a lab that my sister works at. I sort of stole them. This is 30 days worth. So about a month. Jamie, what happens when these run out? Uh... Happy birthday! Ready to find out your sweetheart? What's a sweetheart? It's your soulmate. It's who you're gonna love forever. <gasps> Prince Licorice? What's wrong? Nothing, Lolly. We'll handle everything. 
don't worry. Please, can I meet him? No, Lord Licorice is a very evil man, and I'm sure his son is no better. Exactly. But he's my sweetheart. Nope. The system must have made a mistake. Well, hello, my dear. Who are you? You don't know who I am? You really don't get out much, do you? My parents never let me leave the castle. I see. Well, I'm actually a friend of your father's, and I've brought you a gift. Is this taffy? Why, yes. This is my favorite. Try it. Good, isn't it? What's the matter? Mm. Too sticky? Sorry, princess, but I can't have you alerting the guards. I'm going to bring you to meet my son. Son, look who I've brought you. Is that... King Candy's daughter? Yes, indeed. Why are her hands tied? She's very feisty. But I'm sure she's happy to see you. Are you? Mm. Mm. Oh, she can't talk. I gave her the sticky taffy. Dad! There, now you're free. Drink this. It'll dissolve the taffy. It'll take a few seconds to work. Thanks. I'll give you two some alone time. It's really nice to meet you, Lolly. My name is Prince Licorice, but you can call me Luke. Well, I want to go home, Luke. Please stay. I want to get to know you. No, your dad creeps me out, and I don't think I can trust you guys. Lolly, I'm not like my dad, I swear. No, I want to go home, and that's an order. Fine, as you wish. Listen, it's going to be a long journey for you. You're not going to escort me back? No way. My dad would freak. So I have to walk through Candyland all alone? Forget it. I don't need you. I can handle myself. Candyland is a very dangerous place, especially for a dainty princess like you. I am not dainty. Well, you sure are stubborn. Goodbye, Luke. Hey, we're supposed to be together. You're my sweetheart. Well, having me kidnapped wasn't very sweet. That wasn't my idea. Whatever. Just go. I don't even care anymore. Ugh. What is this stuff? Chocolate swamp? Uh-oh. Oh, this stuff is like quicksand. What do I do? Wait, I think my lollipop still has a little bit of magic in it, so maybe I can turn this into hard chocolate instead. <gasps> it's working. What are you doing in my swamp? Um, I was just leaving, sir. Hey! What is this place? Princess? Are you lost? Yeah, a little bit. Oh no, here, have some cotton candy. Thank you. This is so good. Glad you like it. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. Perfect. You should spend the night here. Okay. <laughs> the king is going to pay a lot of money to get you back. Here, have some more. Let her go. Prince Licorice, what are you doing here? I'm saving her from you. That's my sweetheart. Isn't he handsome? Hand her over or else you think I'm handsome? How could I not think you're handsome? Just look at how big your muscles are. <laughs> how much cotton candy did you have? A lot. I'm sorry, Prince Licorice. I didn't realize she was your sweetheart. Please don't tell your father I did this. We won't have a problem as long as you let us leave. Let's go, Lolly. Bye. How you doing? Better. I didn't realize that the cotton candy made you loopy. Listen, I'm sorry for getting mad at you. You really didn't do anything wrong. Nah, you're good. I'm sorry too. So you think I have big muscles, huh? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> we should start walking back. There she is! Seize him! Arrest him, now! Get off of me! He didn't do anything wrong. Get her to safety. Luke! Mom, Dad, you have to let him go. He was an accomplice to your kidnapping. Even though he's your sweetheart, he has to pay a price for that. No, he was the one that rescued me. What? He did. Yes, I've been trying to tell you. He was the one who saved me from the cotton candy fairy. Honey, we need to release him. Lord Licorice took my daughter. I say we keep his son. Dad, that isn't the way. She's right. You two need to make amends. Thanks for getting me released. Of course. It's the least I can do. I'm really happy our parents are getting along now. I'm so glad to. I need to ask you something. Lolly, will you make me the happiest man in Candyland and marry me? Yes. Everyone, we're engaged. Aw, oh, congrats, sweetheart. Just look at that ring. Congratulations. Lolly, I couldn't have asked for a better soulmate. Me either. Your total's 20 even. Babe, I'm so sorry. I don't think I have enough. Hey, it's okay. I got it. Sorry if I embarrassed you back there. No, you're fine. I understand you're going through a tough time with your job. 
Tomorrow, when the amount in my bank account appears, it might come as a bit of a shock to you. Listen, I don't care how low that number is. I'm gonna love you just the same. Poor thing, it's time to see how little he has. What? My boyfriend is a billionaire? No, there has to be some sort of mistake. I, uh, take it you saw my account? Yeah, and you've got a lot to explain. Whose Ferrari is in our driveway? That's mine. Well, actually, it's going to be yours now. What? <laughs> no, I am still mad at you. Come with me and I'll explain everything. There was a good reason for me lying. Oh yeah? Was there a good reason for you having me buy your meals for the past year? Heck, I even paid your rent one time. I know, I know. And I'll be paying you back for all of it. Why didn't you just tell me? Because every girl I've ever dated has used me for my money. I was tired of dating gold diggers, and I wanted to find a girl who liked me for me. I promise, I will make it all up to you, and I'm going to start by showing you where I really live. Whoa, now hold up. You have a Chick-fil-A in your kitchen? Yep, and there's a McDonald's upstairs. <laughs> Babe, who are you, Richie Rich? Excuse me for just a moment. This is crazy. One of my stocks just went up. A lot. Yeah, actually, I can see that. Why don't you look happy? I'm worried about your safety. You can't tell anyone that you're dating a billionaire. Why can't people know I'm dating a billionaire? Because I'm now one of the youngest billionaires alive. And is that a bad thing? I know a lot of people that would die to get their hands on my money. And you think they'll come after me? I know they will. Promise me you won't tell anyone about my money. Okay, I promise, but you do owe me quite a bit of cash, so what do you say you take me on a little shopping spree? Well, I can't be seen buying you a bunch of stuff, but I can give you this. Babe, this is like 10k. You didn't owe me this much. I know. Consider it a thank you for being so kind to me. I want you to spoil yourself. Oh, hey, Lizzie. Where's your boyfriend? He's at his house. Why? Oh, nothing. I just think it's kind of sad how he never buys you anything. I mean, look at all the stuff you had to buy yourself. It must be hard to date someone poor. Actually, he's not poor. He's one of the richest people alive. What? <gasps> did you enjoy your shopping spree? Uh, yeah, sure did. Good. I also bought you this necklace. Babe, it's beautiful. Thank you. Delivery for Elizabeth? Yes, how much do I owe you? Oh, it's not you who's gonna owe me money. It's your boyfriend. Lizzie, it's 1 a.m. Why are you up? This isn't Lizzie, but if you want to see her again, you're gonna do exactly as I say. You want me to wire you one billion dollars? Yeah, do it now or she's gone. No, I'll send it. It's done. Now let me speak to her. Okay, talk. Liam, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I accidentally told someone that you were... It's okay. I planned for this. Remember that necklace I gave you? Yeah. It's a tracker, babe. No! Please, freeze! Thank you, Liam. I'm glad you were able to get your money back. I don't care about the money. I'm just happy you're okay. Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. We have to cover this up right now. But... Why? Because it, um, it makes you look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm going to school. Not so fast. Let's see your face. Seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And whose fault is that? Dad, you know today is my birthday, and my friend bought me this cupcake. You have to cover up that mark with concealer. Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work, so you're gonna stay home. Happy birthday to me. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. Girl, you're late. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, your mark. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's the mark of the lost princess. You're the lost princess. What? <laughs> yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? You're making fun of me. I'm not. I'm being serious. Save it. My dad said people would act weird when I showed them this mark. But I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Let go of me. I'm going home. You went to school? Yeah, you were right, okay? My friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort of lost princess. Lost princess, huh? Ridiculous, I know. I hope you learned your... This is the royal gods. Open the door. Go cover up your mark. But... Now, Blair, and quickly. They want to take you away. 
That's my daughter. See? No mark. Mm-hmm. I'm not so sure that's true. We found some makeup over here. Well, that's not Blair's because she doesn't wear makeup. Really? Well, we'll see about that. Just as I suspected, she's the princess. No, I'm not. Why are they saying that? They're lying to you, Blair. They just want to take you away from me. The only one lying is him. He is not your real father. He stole you from the kingdom. He had no reason to take me. Hmm, I guess he never told you. About what? Nothing. You have powers. Powers? Yes, all the royals do. That heart symbolizes your power to heal. I'm sure your father has used it. I covered up my mark. Good, honey. Oh. Are you okay? I will be. Just give me your hand. See, you always make me feel better. This whole time, you were using me. Of course not. Don't listen to them. I don't feel so good. Arrest him. Don't get a step closer to me, or else I'll kill her. Nobody move or I kill her. We need to cover up your mark. Nobody follows us, understand? Yes, sir, we understand. Perfect. No one can tell you're the princess now. <sighs> Time to go. You can reverse your powers. All you have to do is say it. Ow! No whispering. We're leaving. You royal guards will never find us again. Reverse my powers. Oh, Blair, what are you doing? Royals' powers can heal, but they can also kill. <gasps> And this is why you don't mess with the royals. Help the princess. Yes, ma'am. Feeling better, princess? Yes, thank you. Good, because there are some people who would like to see you. Hey, they have the same mark as... me. I can't believe it. It's you. It is my pleasure to inform you that my daughter, your princess, has returned. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred... Five? Honey! Quiet. I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But Daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Hi, girly. Oh, hi, girls. Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Is that a Ross tag? This! I just put that on there so people wouldn't steal it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I, I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No! You're being sus. My daddy's in charge of these scores and I'm gonna have him make yours public. Mommy, Daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Will you remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm-hmm. Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales and... She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public. Oh boy. What are we gonna do? 5% is like peasant material. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must, because my social status is on the line. Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%. That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow I'm gonna be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? Recently some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're going to get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or or I'm going to scream. Okay, all right. It's canceled. We have 100%? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two... <gasps> what? You have a hundred percent? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. <sighs> Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run! <sighs> Todd! How dare you? He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a... <gasps> uh, let me go, you jerks! Read this. <sighs> 
I am not reading that. Yes, you will. Hi, Daddy. This is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped and... I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script. Okay, jeez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Ugh. What? I don't have my contacts. All right, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money or you're not going to see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet or we're going to get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? <sighs> Back to being a peasant. Okay, guys, they transferred the money. Now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> we're bringing you to a new location. But that wasn't the deal. Someone else gave us a better offer for you. Hey, Brooke. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's gonna kick your ass. I'd like to see him tr- oh! Yes, Todd, get them! <coughs> and this is why Todd is my favorite bodyguard. Here she is, Mr. Evans. Honey, are you okay? Oh, it was awful. They wouldn't buy me Starbucks, and they made me record videos in horrible lighting. But we're rich again, so everything's fine. No, sweetheart. We realize you need some discipline. Yep. You should have listened to us. Ugh, you guys are annoying me. Talk like that again and you're going to boarding school. No, I'm sorry. You're gonna treat us with respect. Alright, I will. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm glad you're safe. Thanks, Todd. Happy birthday! Hope you like your gift! Gummy bears? Really, guys? They're magic. Each one gives you a different ability. Okay, let's see what the red one does. Hey, check it out! Someone left five bucks on the street! Wait, don't go over there! That car came out of nowhere! How did you know that was gonna happen? I, I don't know, I just did. Excuse me, Bria. Could I see you after class? You wanted to see me, Mr. Peters? Yes, I have an assignment for you. And it's not on paper, if you know what I mean. Actually, I have to go. Mom, I think we need to report my... What is he doing? Your little brother is building a tower. With bricks? No, wait, I think he's gonna... Oh no! Our table! It's broken! What color should I choose today? Hmm, just kidding. I already picked it. Let's go with blue. Hey, can I go to Jessica's party this weekend? No. Jessica is a bad influence on you. Mom, she's fine. Actually, she's fine. Okay, so can I go? No, I I just said no. Oh, come on, just let me go. Okay, sure, honey, you can go. I think I know what my ability is now. See ya. Hi, I'd like to return the shirt I bought here. Sure, do you have the receipt? I don't, I actually lost it. Oh, yeah, no receipt, no refund. Oh, but it still has the tags on it, and I have the card that I used to pay for it. Yeah, don't care. I need the receipt, okay? Your new return policy is no receipt, no problem. So let's get that refund started, shall we? Your brother wants to play. Would you just forget about me? I have work to do. Hey, Tommy, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Wait a minute! What? Who are you? <gasps> Yesterday's ability was really weird, so let's go with purple today. Please don't be bad. Hey, Dad, I'm gonna head to Jessica's party. Now, wait just a minute. Don't worry, Mom said I can go. I better let her have some fun before I break with the news about the divorce. Uh, you and Mom are getting a divorce? I didn't... Oh, no, you got mine reading today, didn't you? Sweetheart, you weren't supposed to find out like that. Good morning, Bria. Good morning, Mr. Peters. She's got such pretty eyes and a really cute butt. What a creep. Ew, there she is. I don't want to talk to her. Hi, bestie! Oh, don't bestie me. You are a fake friend. You know what? Take your friendship bracelet back. Ow! I'm so sorry. I did not mean to hit you in your face. Come here! <gasps> I can't believe she broke my freaking elbow. What are you looking at, Daryl? I don't care that you broke your elbow. Ah! <sighs> now that my elbow's finally healed, I'm going with green today. Well, what is that? Wait, can I control time? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Why are you packing a suitcase? I'm moving out, honey, remember? Yeah, the divorce. 
You know, this whole thing isn't right. I know you still care about mom. You just need to show her a little more. Now, before I unpause him, I'm going to give him this to hold for mom. Perfect. Daniel, who prepared this dinner? Dad did. I did? I, I mean, uh, yeah. Oh, baby, this is really romantic. Okay, I don't need to see this. You ready for the talent show? Wait, that was today? Don't tell me you forgot. Of course not. <laughs> Taught myself how to play this in one hour, so let's hope it goes well. She's really good. It's what my dad would want. You picked the prince, right? Of course. Good, because I'm not having you marry a pirate. They can't be trusted. Dad was a pirate, and you married him. We don't speak of your father. You know that. Marianne, why do you have the pirate's mark? I don't know. Girl, don't lie to me. All right, fine. I picked the pirate, but I don't know why everyone is so afraid of them. They seem kind of cool. I don't think I can be friends with you. What? Why? Because I'm not going to be associated with someone who wants to marry a pirate. They're dangerous, and now that you have that mark, they're going to come for you. Mom, I'm home. Mom? <gasps> Hello. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. I don't think that's... The captain wasn't asking. I knew it. I could sense her mark. Take her to the ship, boys. Yes, captain. Wait, what? Welcome aboard the ship, the Blue Pearl. Legend says when you touch your soulmate, your mark will disappear. So let's see which one of us gets to marry you. Raise your sword if you think the girl is your soulmate. All right, make a line. Hello, miss. Let's see if it's me. Ah, but that's all of us. What about him? Father, do you think I could try? I told you to stay below deck. Ignore my son. He's no pirate. Wait, where'd you get that necklace? My father. Captain, doesn't that look just like the one that the... The Pirate King had. Tell me, what is your father's name? You know what? I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. My father was a pirate, but he wasn't a king. Why do you speak of him in past tense? Because he's dead. Who told you that? My mother. I see. So she was the sea witch who took you away. Don't call her that. She said she wanted to protect me from him. No, your father wanted you to have a royal life. And she wanted you to have a normal one. At least that's what he told me. Wait a minute, you knew my father? Yes, we were great friends. Why don't I take you to him? You would do that? Of course. After all, you are royal blood. Princess, you have to get off the ship. Right now. What? Why? Because my father lied to you. He's not taking you to see your father, him, and all the other crewmates. They're cursed. The only way to break the curse is to sacrifice a royal. He wants to kill me. I want to help you, but we have to jump off the ship. Your mark, it's gone. That means I'm your... Well, soulmates. I don't even know your name. Oh, right. My name is William. I have a canoe we can escape Not in. so fast. You take my son. I'll take the girl. No! William! Where are we? We're on Skull Island, princess. In the exact spot we were all cursed. How much of my blood do you need? To break the curse, we need all of it. Father, no! You stay away from my daughter. Dad? I told you he was alive. Take all of his crewmates into custody. Turn around. Wait, I was trying to help her! No, wait. Spare him, please. That's my soulmate. Gods, leave him. Yes, your majesty. Dad, I thought that you were dead. How did you find me? I gave you that necklace for a reason, love. It's a tracker. I see you chose to remain a princess. Well, Marianne, would you still like to marry a pirate? Yes. How would you like to be married? Two million dollars or a pencil. Who in their right mind would ever pick- Tad, you're it! Pencil selected. <gasps> Sorry. You're done. You're done. I could have been rich. I could have been buying myself a new Tesla right now. But instead, I'm stuck with this freaking mechanical pencil. Today, I want you all to write about something you wish would happen to you. Might as well put this to some use. I wish that I was famous. And everyone wanted my autograph. I'm all done, Mr. Peters. Bree, is it? Is it really you? Um, yeah, it's really me. Ah!
<laughs> Guys, she's over here! So I'm pretty sure this thing is magic, and I just made all of you guys think that I'm famous. Can I please get your autograph? No, I was here first! Okay, time to fix this. <laughs> Can I have that paper back? I'm just gonna erase everything. Whoa, it actually worked. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Can I please borrow your pencil? So, can I borrow it? You know what? It's actually broken. I just saw you using it. Well, my answer is no. Whatever. This is why no one likes you. Ugh. Let's see how popular she is after this. Jessica trips in front of her crush. Hey, Joshua! <laughs> Dude, she just tripped on air. <sighs> I'm so thirsty. Wait, what if I just... A water bottle appeared in my hand. No way! So basically, I can have whatever I want. I just have to write it down. I don't feel like walking home today, so what if Tom Holland picked me up from school today? Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tom Holland. Bye. I better put this in my pocket. Oh my gosh, mom, I think my pocket had a hole in it. Please tell me you saw my pencil. I think your sister got it, honey. She's upstairs drawing with it. What? Lily, do you have my pencil? Yeah, but I'm just borrowing it so I can write you a birthday card. Give it back. Wait, I'm drawing you as a princess with a really cute pink rose in your hand, see? <gasps> That's just how I imagined it. Lily, listen, I'm gonna need that back now. Is this pencil magic? Of course not. Hmm, let me see about that. Lily, don't you- My sister couldn't speak. No way, this is so cool! Okay, she can speak again. Lily, that pencil isn't a toy. You never share anything with me. I'm telling mom. Why are you being mean to Lily? I am not being mean to her. She literally stole my birthday gift. You wouldn't have even gotten the pencil if it wasn't for me. Oh yeah? Well, watch what I'm gonna do now, smart mouth. Wait, what are you writing? My sister disappeared. What? No! Lily? Where did she just go? Is that pencil magic? No. Make her reappear. Do I have to? She is your sister. You bring her back right now or you're grounded. Or I could just make you forget this ever happened. That is it. <gasps> hey, this thing's power has gone to your head. I'm taking it away from you. No, mom, please. I'll bring her back. I'll do it myself. Lily reappeared. Don't talk to me ever again. Pencil's magic expires in one hour. One hour? But I haven't even done anything fun yet. That's it. I have to steal that pencil back. She really needs to stop hiding stuff in her makeup bag. <laughs> hey. Go away! Lily, look, I'm sorry I made you disappear. Where did you even go when it happened? Yeah, like you care. Listen, this pencil is about to run out of magic. So what do you say you and I make a list of things that we want? And I'll write down whatever you say. You do that? Can I write down stuff too? Alright, fine, but we gotta hurry because we only have like five minutes left. We only have four minutes left. Write down the pencil never runs out of magic. Oh yeah, good idea. Air, that is not allowed. Oh, come on. Hurry up and write stuff down then. Okay, okay. Ten seconds left. Let me write the last thing. Write fast. I'm done. Pencil deactivated. I think we did pretty well with the time that we had left. I mean, I'm now a multi-millionaire, I can get free Chick-fil-A whenever I want, and I got this little guy. <laughs> Do you think mom's gonna get mad at us for all this stuff? No, I think the last thing I wrote is gonna distract her a lot. Oh yeah, what did you wish for? Let me guess, a lifetime supply of candy? Uh, no, that wasn't what I wrote down exactly. Do you want to tell me why I woke up from my nap and had a baby bump all of a sudden? Lily, you didn't. What? I just really wanted a little baby brother, that's all. Well, it looks like you're gonna get your wish because this is just a regular pencil now. And the baby is due tomorrow. What? I'm Jess Ken, and you were where else I'd be a 10. <coughs> Mommy, what's that? It's like charades, honey. You just have to act out your word very quickly, and I have to guess. Okay, you ready? <coughs> oh, a, a dog. <sighs> Understand how to play? Yeah. I got a word now. What am I writing? Um, a bike? No, not a bike. You use your feet. A motorcycle? No, honey, please hurry or something bad is going to happen to Mommy. I don't know. I don't I know. bought this for you for your birthday. Um, a scooter? Yes. Oh, I'm safe. I don't like this game. A camera? No, and the time's up. No, I'm so sorry. I couldn't guess it in time. Sissy, I got a word. Rar. Okay, um, a lion? No. 
A tiger? A bear? No, no, not that. Come on, Susie, you only have 10 seconds left. Rawr. A cheetah? A leopard? Just tell me what it is, whisper the word. Okay, uh, it's a panther. A panther! Yay, you got it right. I'm safe. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Officer? Hello, ma'am. We're looking for a girl named Susie. We believe your daughter cheated. Tell me what it is. Whisper the word. Okay, uh, it's a panther. A panther! <laughs> Susie, did you cheat? No, my sister guessed the right answer. Uh-huh. Well, the report could have been a glitch. Remember, cheating has consequences. We know. Have a nice day. What was that about? Look, Mom, let's just say that Susie is not good at this game. We need to sign her up for acting classes or something. Honey, don't tell me you actually cheated. I wasn't gonna let her die. Huh? Let who die? No one. Nothing, Susie. We're just talking, sweetheart. You are lucky you got off the hook this time. Mom? No, this is ridiculous. Mom, I have a word. Okay, go ahead. You're holding your breath. You're swimming. You're... you're a shark? No. Uh... The Water Olympics? No, Mom, come on. Let me guess, let me guess. Um, um, scuba diver. Yes. <sighs> that was a close one. Uh oh, I got a word. Come on, Susie, you got this. Ooh, I learned about this in school. Okay, honey, act it out. It looks like she's swimming. Um, a duck? No, not that. A swan? Nope. Grrr. Um, what is it? I don't know. Okay, Mom, I don't know. Just help her. Splash. We have to cheat again. No, don't. Mom. Susie, what is your word? My word is... Susie? She's alive. That was scary. I really thought we lost her. This doesn't make any sense. Every time someone gets a word wrong, an armed drone comes down and shoots them. I know, honey, but the drone missed. No, but the drones never miss. The creator of the game programmed them to have perfect accuracy. There's something you need to know. Your father is the creator of this game. What? It's the reason I divorced him. You mean to tell me that our father is the reason for this game existing? Yes. I'm going to act it out headquarters, and I'm getting Dad to shut down this game. No, it's too dangerous. He didn't kill Susie, which means he still cares about us. I have to try. Hey, you're not allowed to be in yet. My father is Darren White, the creator of this game, and I want to speak to him. Oh, really? You got some ID on you? Oh. Now let me see my father. I see your mom finally told you about me. You've got a lot of explaining to do. You got a word, didn't you? Don't worry, I'll guess it for you. Act it out. No. What? Me and everyone else are done playing this game. Sweetheart, you're gonna run out of time. End the game. Just act it out, I can't. No, if you really love me, you're gonna end it right now. I've put too much work into this game to stop it now. Then I guess you're only gonna have one daughter. No, honey. Oh my god, what have I done? Dad. Shut the game down. But sir, I said shut it down. The game is offline. Good, I gotta get her to a hospital. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I can't believe this happened. I did it for all of us. So daddy's gone? Yeah, the doctor said once he found out she was okay, he took off. All that matters is that this horrible game is over. Yeah. Sissy needs to rest now. I'm so proud of you, sweetheart. Thanks, mom. Time to see how much money my boyfriend has in his bank account. Not that that's important. I knew he had money, but not that much money. I'm gonna pay him a little visit. Hey. Hey, handsome. I shouldn't tell him I know what's in his bank account. So, baby, what do you want for Christmas? Well, there is this Gucci bag that I really like, but you know what? What am I saying? You don't have to get me anything. Come on. Of course I'm getting you something. In fact, you might get that Gucci bag as long as you're not too naughty. I'll try. Right now, why don't you go out and buy yourself whatever you need? Okay. Bad news. What? Fluffy's sick. The vet says she needs surgery. Well, how much is it? It's about $2,000. We can't afford it. You know what? I think I got it covered. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, good. Babe, I'm- Whoa. Back. Listen, it's not what it looks like. We can't break up. I need his money. I can't break up with him. I need his money. Uh, her and I are just friends. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Babe, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. It's okay. We all make mistakes. And it was my bad, really. I should have knocked before coming in. Thanks for understanding. She kind of made a mess. Do you think you can clean up? I gotta go to work. Of course, honey. All clean, and you just go make the money. Thanks, babe. Love you. Bye. He is so dead. I'm so happy Fluffy's okay, but how did you get the money to pay for her surgery? Mom, about that. There's something that I need to tell you. I can't believe he cheated on you! I know, but now that Fluffy's okay, I think I'm gonna go break up with him. 
What? Looks like he just got another paycheck. And you still have his credit card. Don't break up just yet. I have a plan for how you can get revenge. Hey, sweetie. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Who is she? You know, I was about to ask you the same thing, but you look really familiar. Are you a model or something? Uh, actually, yes. Figures. I'm sorry, babe, but this girl was just leaving. But you said, no, stay. I think you're gonna wanna see this. I actually got him a little something. Here you go, sweetheart. Thanks. Oh, wait, but first, before you open that, I believe this is mine, right? Uh-huh. That's your Gucci bag. That's the one you wanted, right? Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and open yours. All right. What's this? Receipts of things that I bought this week. Baby, 10k worth of stuff? Oh, baby, you and I both know that you can afford it. Oh, and there's a card in there too. Go ahead and read that. Roses are red, violets are blue. You're a dirty, rotten cheater. I'm breaking up with you? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Girl, let's get out of here. I'm right behind you. Wait. Ladies, I'll buy you anything. No amount of money is worth being with him. Goodbye. My soulmate picks my hair or my job for the day. I'm pretty particular with how I like my hair, so I think I'm gonna go with job. Please pick me an easy job. Movie star. What the? Okay, I didn't exactly expect him to pick this job for me, and I'm not going to school dressed like this. Why isn't this coming off? You may not remove work outfit. Yeah, I should have picked the hair option. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. No way. Look, before you laugh, I know this outfit's a lot. I'm like your number one fan. Uh, you're definitely not. I am. Whoa. <laughs> Can you sign this for me? No, no me. me. Okay, let's all just calm down. <laughs> oh shit. Talking mushrooms. I think I lost him. Excuse me, can, can you sign this for me? Oh, of course, sweetheart. What do you want me to say? Can you write the alphabet? But can you do it in Spanish? Oh, I don't really know how to do that, but I can sign my name. No, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. Look, <laughs> there's my autograph. No, I don't want it. Hey, look, this movie star is making this kid cry. No, no, no. She just wanted me to write this just in. Big time movie star makes little girl no, cry. No, I didn't. <laughs> Okay, cut. That's a wrap. Guess we get to go home now. Thank God. Hey, question. I picked for my soulmate to pick my occupation for the day, but I kind of want that to stop happening. Oh, you have to meet your soulmate to make that stop. But I don't even know what his name is or where he lives. Uh-huh. Sounds like a you problem. Looks like we're doing this again. Mate. Oh, no, he didn't. Mate. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> I better not be wearing what I think I'm wearing. <gasps> oh, he is so dead. Honey. Mom. Oh, thank goodness you're home. Look at what my soulmate... Shh, enough chit-chat, honey. Here, your room needs dusting. What? You heard me. I don't pay you to sit around. But mom... Uh-uh. Get to work. But I have to go to school. School can wait. You've got dust to clean. Who does he think he is? Turning me into Cinderella? I swear, when I find him, I'm gonna- May not remove job uniform. Yes, I know. I wasn't trying to remove it, it's just itching me. Principal Peters, hi. Uh, listen, about my outfit, I know it's against dress code, but- There you are. The bathrooms need sweeping. But I'm supposed to get to class. Forget about class. You get to cleaning that bathroom. Yes, sir. Aw, poor baby has to- Ow! Whoops. I'm telling my mom. I am so over being a maid. If he does not give me a better job, I will hunt him down and- Lion Tamer. Lion Tamer. No, no. What on earth has he done to me? Honey, there's some people at the door that want to talk to you. Who exactly? Because if it's someone with a lion, tell them I'm not here. Honey, they're waiting. Come on. But mom. There you are. You're late. Late for what exactly? Your show with the lion. Oh, you see, I would, but I hurt my shoulder so bad the other day. Oh, it's just awful. So I better go rest it. You were holding the other shoulder before? Both, both shoulders got hurt. Yeah, right. Come on. Let's get out of here. All right, we're here. Let me just tell you that there has been a little mistake. I am not the right person for this. Relax and don't forget this. Was that him? It's a her, actually. I'll go grab her for you. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Come on, you got this. You can do this. Okay, bring her in. Okay, here she is. 
Why didn't you tell me the lion was a puppy? We like to scare our new workers. You should have seen your face. She's so cute. Yes, yeah, she is. Mm. Okay, I'll admit, this occupation was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Maybe for the next job, though, I can get something a little less out there. Chef. A chef? At least that's a little bit more normal. Congrats! You've been selected to be on our cooking show. Huh? Let's go. Take this spatula and we're live in five. You guys don't understand. I'm not actually a real chef. This outfit is not even mine. Uh-huh. May not remove uniform. Each of you will be paired with a celebrity that you must cook a meal for. Contestant number one, you've been paired with Tom Holland. No way! Hey, everyone. Okay, who did I get? You've been paired with a new upcoming actor. Meet Zack Starman. You seem a bit disappointed. No, it's just that I never really heard of you before, and I thought we were doing A-list celebrities, so... <gasps> you don't think I'm good enough to be here? No, no, I... You don't want to upset your celebrity guest, as they will be judging your food. Looks like Tom Holland loved contestant number one's dish. For my dish, I made for my celebrity guest is a Rice Krispie Treat with some M&Ms on top. I hope that, that you will like it. Bon appetit! Hmm. Needs more salt. But it's a Rice Krispie Treat. It's not supposed to be salty. Sorry, love, but I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. Well, with that score, that means contestant number one is the winner! I just won 500k! You know, joke is on you guys, because that was a store-bought Rice Krispie. I don't even care about this competition anymore. Hey, you're right. I'm just kind of getting tired of all these crazy jobs that my soulmate's giving me. Oh, well, here's my number, if you ever want to talk. My mom is going to be so mad I didn't win that money. Wait a minute, I just took my hat off. But I could only do that if... Soulmate found. You figured it out, didn't you? Mm-hmm. And you've got some explaining to do. Can I explain over a date? As long as I don't have to cook. <laughs> Deal. Time to take your vitamins. Mom, do I have to? They make my head hurt. That means they're working. What exactly are they doing for me? Shh, open. Mom, stop. I can take it myself. Okay, let me see. Good job. Next one's at lunch. Yeah, okay, I know. You're gonna make me late. Hey, cool if I sit here for lunch? Sure. Why does no one talk to you? Um, FaceTime from Mom. I'm really sorry, but I have to take this, um, in private. Mom, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Look, I just need to see you take it. There, are you happy? Yes, good job, honey. I love you. Why? This is why I'm never gonna have any friends. <laughs> hey, what the hell? Where did you come from? They're after me. There isn't much time. You need to stop taking those vitamins. They're... Stop taking those vitamins. They're suppressing your powers. Powers? Yes, you're a special just like your father. A what? How do you know my father? I'm out of time. Just don't take those pills tonight and you'll see what happens. No, wait! <laughs> okay, it's time. Good job, honey. You just earned yourself some dessert. She's gotta stop treating me like I'm five. Kara, vitamin time. Okay, I'm coming. Go on, take it. What's wrong? Kara, don't tell her anything. She can't be trusted. Honey, what? Uh, nothing. Never mind. Uh-huh. Well, don't be late to class now. Bye, Mom. No, Kara, wait. I found your vitamins in the trash. Why were they in the trash? The better question is, why are you making me take them? I know they're not really vitamins. How do you know that? I just... I just know, okay? Damn it. Derek found you, didn't he? Who? Never mind. You have to take them. No, Mom. I'm going to school. Don't tell me no. You will take them. I know what's best. Open your mouth. No, you... You stay back. Oh, You are in so much... I know I have powers. Honey, you don't even know how to use them. <laughs> yeah, I do. Just watch. <laughs> Come on. Work. Ow. I'm sorry, Kara, but I have to do this to protect you. Oh, okay, just stay there. Can you hear me, Mom? It's all right. Open your mouth. Mom, no. Mm. <laughs> Kara? <laughs> yes, my plan worked. Hey, it's all right. You're safe now. Dad? Dad? Kara, you look so grown up. Yeah. No shit. You left when I was eight. I was forced to leave you, Kara. I was being hunted. Hunted? By who? Ultra. An organization set on eliminating our kind. It was your mom's biggest fear that you would become a special. A special as in having special powers? Yes. 
We think you might be the most powerful out of all of us. I don't think I can trust you guys. I don't even know how I got here. All of us specials are connected. Somehow you knew subconsciously to teleport here. My dad was a special too, and Ulta killed him. And they would have gotten me as well if it weren't for your dad. Please, I just want to keep you safe. Specials have either teleportation, telepathy, or telekinesis. We think you have all three. Okay, so how do I learn how to use them? Now use your telepathy to put a number in Derek's mind. Are you saying five? Yes. She really has all three powers. I want to try teleportation now. Hold on, that one's hard. I just want to try it. Kara, wait. <laughs> Honey? The itsy bitsy spider. Stop! Where did you learn to sing? I don't know, I just saw it on the TV. Honey, you must remember, singing is deadly. The TV is trying to trick you. You must never sing again. Okay, I won't. Going to class? Yeah. And you think you can go without wearing earplugs? Come on. Do I have to wear them? Yes. You never know when someone could start singing. These are lifesavers. Hey, take those out of your ears. Yeah, take them out. My mom says I'm not supposed to take these off. Can I just try them on? Yeah, for a second. Thank you. Yeah, these are trash. Hey! Oh, relax. You'll be fine without them. Bria, I need to see you after class, please. Miss Claremont, if this is about my grade, I... No, dear. This isn't about your grade. What are you doing? Mary had a little Miss Claremont, lamb, please stop singing. Little lamb, little lamb, Mary... Little stop. lamb... Stop! Mary had a little... Oh my gosh, what did you do to Miss Claremont? She was trying to kill me. What? what? She would never do that. I am calling the police. Honey, what's the matter? It was awful. Someone took my earplugs, and then my teacher tried to kill me. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? rock bye baby. Why are you singing? Hush, little baby. Mama's gonna buy you a mocking. <gasps> Honey? Are you okay? I'm- I'm so sorry. Why would you do that? I- I don't know. It was like something was controlling me. Bria? No, no, stop. Stay with me. Bria, wake up. Honey, please wake up. Mom? I'm here. I'm here. Oh, my ears, they hurt. Oh, so bad. It's gonna be okay. Let me just look. I see something. What? There is something in your ear. I'm gonna take it out. No, no, don't. Bria, I have to. It's probably what's causing you the pain. Don't move. Is it out? I got it. This is what was inside of your ear. I think there's one in my ear, too. You need to take it out. Fine, just come here. Oh, I got it. <sighs> Thank goodness. I need to test something. Put those on and sing. No, Mom, I don't want to hurt you. It's okay, honey. Sing. <sighs> the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun. Are you okay? I'm fine. It was the chip killing people all along. But who would have put it in all of our ears? Open up. I'm gonna need both of you to come with me. No thanks. <gasps> Mom, did you just kill him? No, he's still alive. We need to question him. Go get the duct tape. There. He's not going anywhere. <sighs> hey, what are you guys doing? We want to know who you work for and why we found this inside of our ears. Show him. I... I don't know what you're talking about. If you won't talk, we'll sing. Wait, Mom, we can't do that. Yes, we can, honey. We don't have the chips in our ears anymore. It won't hurt us, but it'll hurt him. Just keep your eyes closed. No, hey, wait a minute. Are you, are you coming into the tree where dead men called out for his love to flee? Strange. Oh, wait, stop. I'll tell you. I work for a secret government organization. We put chips in everyone's ears and wipe their memories of it. By making singing lethal, it was a way for us to control the public. This is horrible. We have to tell everyone. Go ahead, honey. We're live. We have all been lied to. The government has been putting these in our ears. That's why singing kills us. But if you take them out, singing will no longer kill anyone and we can be free. We did it, Bria. We're all saved. Are you guys almost done shopping yet? Can you, like, stop complaining? Ocean, do you like this dress? Yeah, it's cute, I guess. Okay, cool, because you're buying it. <laughs> <laughs> Your total is 5,200 words. That is an insane amount of words. So what? It doesn't affect you. 
We're hungry. Okay, then go buy yourself your own food. I am done paying for you guys. You brat! How dare you! You know we don't have a lot of words! Well, maybe if you guys didn't talk so much, that wouldn't be a problem. <gasps> That's it! I'm calling Daddy! Oh my gosh, he's so gonna yell at her. No, wait. What do you guys want to eat? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we thought. Look! The prince! Let's go talk to him! Are we allowed to? Are we allowed to? Of course you're not! Just stay here! I swear, she is so annoying! Excuse me, but what if I told you I could help you meet the prince? And all I need are your words. You want me to give you my infinite words? Mm-hmm. But I'll get your stepsisters to leave you alone too. You could do that? How? Through magic, of course. Just look at how hot the prince is. I mean, don't you want him? He is very handsome, but I just can't give up my words. I don't even know if I can trust you. My dear, I live to help others. In fact, I'll even give you a chance to gain your words back. All you have to do is get the prince to fall in love with you. But without my words, how will I get him to- You have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the power of body language. <laughs> Ocean, we want more food. I don't have all day. Okay, you have a deal. Excellent choice. <laughs> Perfect. And one more thing about the deal. <laughs> you have 48 hours to get the prince to fall in love with you, or your words are mine forever. Ocean, we're hungry. Let's go. Forget. Why are you talking to that weird girl and her grandma? I don't know. Uh, let's get out of here. Grandma? Why? I ought to turn them into clams. Let's just get you to the prince. The prince will be here any minute. Good luck, your time starts now. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Excuse me, miss, do you need some help? You don't have any words left, do you? You must be lost. It's not safe out here, please, come with me. Is that better? What's your name? Oh, right, uh, wait here. Ocean, that's a beautiful name. I wish I could give you words, but my father, he made it against the- Son, who are you talking to? Hold my drink. Okay. I gotta use the bathroom. Thanks for holding this. Of course. This is good, babe. Mm, I thought you might like it. What's it called? It's called, uh, Taken by Surprise. Why is it called that? That's why. Just one more kill and you're rid of me. You're gonna miss me, aren't you? You wish. Well, tomorrow's assignment is no joke. Go get some sleep. You're gonna need it. He's actually kinda cute. Damn it, stop it. No attachments. This is for your freedom. So you're telling me that this guy's a billionaire? Yes, and he's got two bodyguards. So you gotta work your charm and get him alone. Then, you're gonna give him some of this. It looks like water, but if he drinks it, BAM! He's dead. Think you can handle it? If it means I never have to see your face again, then yes. Hey. Hey. What's your name? My name is... <clears throat> uh, Are you always this articulate? <laughs> uh, Brett, sorry. My name's Brett. And that's why I hate snakes. <laughs> so, are those big strong men over there your bodyguards? Yeah, I have them for my protection. Oh. Is, uh, is something wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just, I wish we could go somewhere a little more alone. This better? Yes, but uh, do you think you could get me some water? Yeah. One sec. Cheers to, uh, one of the most beautiful girls I, I think I've ever met. Wait! To, uh, one of the most beautiful girls I, I think I've ever met. Wait! What? Your drink, it, it has a bug in it. No, don't! And that ruined my carpet? You'll... you'll thank me later. It's alright, I've been meaning to redo this place anyways. So you've been single for a while now? Yeah. Huh. You know, for me, it's always been kind of hard to stay alone. Sometimes it's better to be alone. No one can hurt you. Hey, listen, I... I get why you feel like that. But I want you to know, I'm not that type of guy. We should stop this before... I... So you're telling me he's not dead? I am done working for you. No, no, sweetheart. We had a deal. 
You remember the obedience necklace, right? <laughs> Don't make me use it. So tomorrow, no security, just you and me. That sounds great. I'll... I'll see you then. Good job. And tomorrow, you get that kill count up to 50. Hey. Hi. Remember, I'm watching you. You okay? Yeah, uh, do you think you could just get me some water? Yeah, of course. Okay, when he comes back, you know what to do. Got your... Natasha, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Don't do this. I don't have a choice. You have five seconds to take the shot. I don't know who's making you do this, but you always have a choice. Do it! Three, two, one. No! Run. Ugh. Guess I'll have to do it myself. Say goodbye to your freedom and your little boyfriend. Wait! How could you? You wanted 50 kills? Ugh. Well, you got it. Security! Let's see those hands! If they need to arrest me, I understand. Actually, I work for the CIA, and if you're willing to come work with us, we'll drop all the charges. Does that sound like a deal? Yes, I would like that. Thank you, Brett. You saved my life. I'll never forget that. Time to finally find out my soulmate status. He's engaged. Hey, did you find out your soulmate status? Yeah, I did. Girl, me too. Mine is single. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so embarrassing, but mine literally has a girlfriend. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I mean, it's not like he's engaged or something. <laughs> oh my gosh, imagine. <laughs> what are you doing? I was just cleaning my closet. Uh-huh. I just got a call from your school today saying that you failed a test. Yeah, it's because I was a little bit distracted today. I'm sorry, I- Go do your homework right now. This is ridiculous. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if I went onto YouTube for like one minute. Royal Prince speaks out about being forced into arranged marriage. How shall I marry this woman when my soulmate is still out there? Damn, arranged marriages really suck. Hey, I can't really talk right now. My stepdad's gonna- Forget about him! Haven't you heard the news? The prince left his kingdom. He's looking for his soulmate. Rumor has it, the prince is headed this way. Listen, if I tell you something, do you promise not to tell anyone else? Yeah, of course. Okay, my soulmate status says engaged. It does? Wait, the prince is engaged. I know, so do you think him and I might be- Soulmates? Come on, get real! You and the prince? <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, I heard a prince is coming into our town. Yeah, I heard that too. You stay clear of him, understood? Wait, why? Because I said so. Now get to school. I don't want you being late. What is going on? Why is everyone in the hallway? Oh my god, shut up! The prince is here! Look! Hello everyone. I have been informed that my soulmate might be at this very school. That is why I'm breaking off my engagement in hopes to find her. Can you believe the prince is single now? Yeah, that's really crazy. Are you okay? Excuse me for a second. Hey, did you leave school early yesterday? Yeah, I kind of got overwhelmed. The prince was there. What? He was? Yeah. Did you talk to him? Why do you care if I talk to him? You don't even know who he is. I know more than you understand. The prince is interviewing girls today. He is? Yeah, he's trying to find out which girl is his soulmate. But how's he gonna know which one's the right girl? He said he'll just know. Isn't that so romantic? Mm-hmm. I've interviewed at least 60 girls today, and not one of them was my soulmate. Are you sure, Saya? Yes, trust me. When I find the right girl, I'll know. Excuse me, Your Highness? Ahem. <clears throat> the prince is done with interviews for today. You can come back again tomorrow. No, no, wait just a moment. I think I want to make time for this girl. What's your name, love? My name is Heaven. That's a beautiful name. My name is Henry. Prince Henry of Onnington. Thank you, Mildred. You may leave us now. I can't believe we have so much in common. Tell me, Heaven, are you close with your parents? Actually, both of my biological parents passed away. I'm so sorry. It's all right. I live with my stepdad now. Oh, I see. Listen, Henry, the reason why I think you and I are soulmates is because when you said you were ending your engagement... Your Highness, I must talk to you. <clears throat> in private. We saw you talking to the prince. Yeah, he had to go. But he said he's going to meet me again tomorrow. Really? <laughs> How exciting. Yeah. I can't wait to see him today. What? Why are you looking so sad, Heaven? No reason. Come on, she's obviously upset about the prince. You heard about his engagement being back on, huh? Yeah. Aw, she really liked him, didn't she? <laughs> Sorry to crush your dreams, but I heard his father locked him in his castle. Not like you had a chance with him anyways. <laughs> Psst, heaven, over here. Don't cry, love. 
Henry? Hey, I don't have much time. I escaped the castle. The gods are looking for me. I don't know. Maybe you should go back. After all, you are engaged. Heaven, it's not by choice. My father is blackmailing me. Wait, what? Why would he do that? I don't have much time. Here, meet me back here tomorrow at five. Henry, I... Please, love. We have more we need to discuss. All right. Fine. I'll be here. You think you can get away with lying? I told you not to talk to the prince. How do you... Your friend sent me some photos of you talking to him. Do you think that just because I'm your stepfather, you don't have to listen to me? That's not it at all. It's just that I know he's my soulmate. Oh, really? Yes, and I'm meeting him tonight. Absolutely not. What do you have against the prince? You know what, Ben? I'm going, and you can't stop me. I said no, Heaven. You're not going. Ben, let me out. It's for your own good, Heaven. This just in, the search for Prince Henry continues. I'm sorry for standing you up, Henry. Ben, I'm hungry. Can I please have something to eat? Hello? Heaven? Heaven, are you there? Henry! Henry, up here! Heaven, there you are. How did you find me? I asked some of your classmates where you lived. Hang on, I'm coming up. Okay. Ugh. So your stepfather locked you in here? He's trying to keep me away from you, but I don't know why. Wait, is this a picture of him? Yeah. Uh-oh. What? Heaven, he's one of my father's biggest enemies. He hates my whole family. We have to get out of here. Where is your stepfather now? I don't know. I'm right here. <laughs> Come on, we're leaving. Heaven, get back here. No. Oh, oh my gosh, Henry. <coughs> what? Where's Ben? Don't worry, I took care of him. I'm gonna get you help, okay? Oh. <gasps> Please tell me he's gonna be okay. Yes, the doctor said he expects him to make a full recovery. Can I see him? Mm, his fiance is already on her way, so I think it's best if you just wait out here. Absolutely not. Your, your majesty. My son's engagement to that woman is over. I'm no longer enforcing it. I had no idea his true soulmate was so brave. I'm so sorry about all of this. It is a pleasure to meet you, my dear. I can't thank you enough for saving my son. Oh, really? He was the one saving me. Well, I can assure you your stepfather won't be bothering you again. Now come, dear. Let's go see Henry. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Wait, love. Check his status. Finally. Do you think I could use your house really quick to charge my phone? Yeah, sure. Wait, is that a blue mark? Sorry, can't help you. Please, I couldn't afford to pay my electricity bill this month, and all the public charging stations are for rich people. I miss the part where that's my problem. Get out of here. Hey, isn't that the girl whose parents, like, died at sea? Yeah. Yikes. They're not dead, they're gonna come back. Oh, really? Yeah, and when they do, they're gonna bring back the lost pirate's treasure. <laughs> my mark is gonna change. Well, be sure to call me when your zombie parents come back from the dead. <laughs> hey, don't listen to them. You're gonna be okay. It's easy for you to say that. Your whole family has yellow marks. Look, just because we're rich doesn't mean we're... Mail delivery. Kayla, what's that? It's a card, and it's signed by my parents saying that they want me to meet them at the Golden Ball. Sounds like a trap. No, I know my parents' handwriting. Only yellow marks can get into the ball. Well, then I'll just have to change my mark. Wait, what? You are so lucky I have yellow paint. So, uh, yeah, we just gotta trust the process on this. Dude, hurry up, I hear cops. I'm going as fast as I can. Well, then I'll just have to change my mark. Wait, what? You are so lucky I have yellow paint. So, uh, yeah, we just gotta trust the process on this. Dude, hurry up, I hear cops. I'm going as fast as I can. Hey, you two, let's see your marks. Huh, have you guys seen any blue marks? No, sir. No. Good, because they're not allowed around this side of town, so if you see any, let us know. Will do, yes. Let's go. That was close. What did your parents' letter say again? It said for me to meet them at the Golden Ball and to wait for a signal. Kayla, this really sounds like a trap. And you can't wear that to the ball. Look, you gotta dress like a yellow mark. You gotta wear a fancy dress. Well, I might have this mark, but I don't have money. But I do. Come on, we're going shopping. Come on, Kayla, you're about to have your Cinderella dress moment. Hey, you. Let me see your mark. Come here, let me see it closer. Uh, officer, is everything okay? Hey, you. Let me see your mark. Come here, let me see it closer. Uh, officer, is everything okay? There's been a lot of people faking their marks, and hers looks- <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. Come on, let's go. So what do you think? Whoa, I- I love it. Green really suits you. 
If this thing is called the golden ball, then why am I dressed like a flower? <laughs> Because this year's theme is spring. Wow, this place is really fancy, huh? Man, I am starving right now. Same. Dang, look at all the desserts. You see the cupcakes? Well, what are we waiting for? Come on. Oh, these desserts are so good. Hey, aren't those your favorite flowers? Tulips, right? This is the sign. Wait, like from your parents? Is that a note? Kayla, this is freeze. Both of you are coming with us. Hey, aren't those your favorite flowers? Tulips, right? This is the sign. Wait, like from your parents? Is that a note? Kayla, this is freeze. Both of you are coming with us. Get off of me, Kayla. Well, look who we have here. <sighs> Mom, Mrs. Stewart. Mom, what is going on? I'm getting us the treasure, honey. They're gonna bring back the lost pirate's treasure. <laughs> My parents found the treasure. And they're alive. Why, look, you changed your mark, didn't you? That's against the law. Now let's see that note. You give that back. Now what does this say, Delala? Do you know what that means? No. She's definitely lying. Give her the truth serum. Jake. Mom, stop it. What does Delilah mean? It was the name of my old treehouse that my parents made for me in the woods. Interesting. And do you know where it is? Yes. Perfect. Okay, let her go. Kayla, you're going to be taking us all to the treehouse. Now let's go. It's up there. The treasure has to be in that treehouse. Jake, climb up there and look for the treasure. No. You won't see Kayla again until you do. Take her away. Jake. Kayla. You won't see Kayla again until you climb up into that treehouse and get me that treasure. Take her away. No, Jake. Let's go. Kayla, let me see that mark of yours. Why did you take a picture? So I could show the cops how you faked your mark when I turned you in. Let's get this yellow paint off. There. Now you're back to being poor. <laughs> All right, sit down. Don't move from that spot unless I say so. Why are you helping Mrs. Stewart? I have my reasons. Just mind your own business. She's promising you a lot of the pirate's treasure, isn't she? Maybe she is. What's it to you? I could get you a lot more gold than what she's promising. How? Because I lied about the note from my parents. Delilah wasn't the name of my treehouse. What? Now what does this say, Delilah? Do you know what that means? It was the name of my old treehouse that my parents made for me in the woods. Who names a treehouse? Come on, Delilah is the name of my car. Really? Mm-hmm. And if you take me to it right now, I'll give you half of whatever treasures we find in there. What if your parents try and ambush us? I'm their daughter. They're not going to ambush us if I'm there. I don't know. We are running out of time before they figure out that there is no treasure in that treehouse. Do we have a deal or not? All right, all right. You got yourself a deal, kid. That's my car. I see something shiny in there. Huh? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. This is the golden bass. It's worth like five million. So I'll be taking it. We had a deal. You know what they say? Deals change. Oh. Ugh. And where do you think you're going? You found it. Let me see it. Give it to me, you little brat, or I'll. Oh. <sighs> Honey. Mom. Dad? Hello. We, we missed, missed you. you. You got our note. We promised you we'd find that treasure. I just knew you guys would come back. Kayla! Jake! Uh, are you okay? Oh my gosh, your parents! Whoa, is that the treasure? So, I just wanted to congratulate you on getting your mark changed, for real, this time. <laughs> Thanks. Also, I know you're like a rich girl now, and my mom's in jail, and I just don't want things to be awkward between us, because I know we're friends, Jake. but- stop talking. <laughs> Excuse me? I saw this flower and I thought of your face. Do you think I have Riz? Honestly, you need to work on it. Why did I just get money? Cuz, sweetheart, every time someone has a crush on you, you get money. We're gonna be witch. Wanna go prom dress shopping? I can't. I'm broke. You have no new crushes? No. Oh my gosh, what did I tell you? You're so pretty, but you don't talk to anyone. That is not true. I talk to Tommy. Tommy is a little creep who likes to stalk you. He doesn't count. You need to talk to other boys. Look, it's not my fault that I have social anxiety. Girl, just let me teach you how to flirt. I can flirt, okay. Here comes a guy. Hi, um, I like your face. Huh? You know that I have a girlfriend, right? Right. <laughs> And you lost more money, didn't you? Yeah. You're coming with me. Fine. This is perfect for prom. I'm telling you I'll buy it for you. And I'm telling you I can't. It's way too short. My parents would kill me. What's going on? 
What's up with your crushes? I don't know, it just- Hey. What the freak, Tommy? What are you doing in the girls' dressing room? Listen, I posted something that's gonna make you rich. Tommy, what did you post? It's nothing bad, it's just- You tell me what you posted, right- Oh my gosh, you need to see this. Don't get mad. You need to see this. Don't get mad. You recorded me without me knowing? Look, I was just trying to get you some more money. Do you know what's gonna happen when my parents see this video? They're gonna get mad you're wearing that dress? Come on, you're 18. And that video's viral, so you're gonna be rich. Tommy? Yeah? Delete it. Uh, I kinda got logged out of my TikTok account. You what? <laughs> Her video is getting so many views. You little creep, Tommy. Ow! That's for following us. <clears throat> oh, jeez. And that's for recording me without permission. I was just trying to help. Casey, where are my other clothes? I don't know, they were right here. Hey, looking for these? Hey! See ya! How much money you got now? Two thousand! Wow, I guess your video's really going viral. Girl, calm down. Well, you know, I don't like attention like this. Can you please just buy me this dress and I just want to go home. I actually have to go. What? You'll be fine. You're rich now. Casey, please, you can't just leave me like this. Sorry! Casey! Bye! You're going to wear the dress out? It's going to be a hundred and twenty-two dollars. Where are you going? To the bus. And I would appreciate it if you would stop following me. You're cute. Hey, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Casey left me with no way home and this creepy guy was following me so I couldn't get the bus home and- I deleted the video. You did? Yeah, it's doing more harm than good. Uh, your friend just posted something. What's happening? Uh, your friend Casey just posted something. This rich girl literally gets mad at me for not buying her a dress. Just buy me this dress. I don't have enough money. Casey! She edited this. I just can't believe that she would do this to me. She definitely got jealous of you getting all these crushes. But you know what? Come on. I'll go with you to go confront her. Look, it's the whiny rich girl. Boo! Get out of here! Hey! The video was faked and we're gonna prove it. Come on. Casey! What is wrong with you? I thought that we were friends. Oh, the video? I was just showing people the real you, that's all. It's not real if you edited it. Yeah! Did you not ask me to buy your dress? You offered to pay for me for that dress. That was before you had $2,000, and then you still asked me to buy it. Well, I'm sorry I wasn't thinking clearly, because I was in the middle of having a panic attack. Well, boo-hoo for you. Just admit you edited the video. Okay, I edited the video. Does that make you feel happy? No one's gonna find out anyways. We wouldn't be so sure about that. Say hello to my live stream with over a million viewers. You've been streaming this? Yep, and you heard the truth here, guys, so pass it on. Whoa. My crushes are disappearing. <laughs> FYI, a lot of people on the live stream were shipping us together. <laughs> well, you kind of stuck up for me when my best friend didn't, so... Are you giving me a chance? If you promise no more stalking. Deal! Oh my gosh, I've been dreaming of this my whole life. I mean, uh, I'm cool. I'm cool. Time to see how much money my boyfriend has in his bank account. Not that that's important. I knew he had money, but not that much money. I'm gonna pay him a little visit. Hey. Hey, handsome. I shouldn't tell him I know what's in his bank account. So, baby, what do you want for Christmas? Well, there is this Gucci bag that I really like, but... You know what, what am I saying? You don't have to get me anything. Come on. Of course I'm getting you something. In fact, you might get that Gucci bag as long as you're not too naughty. I'll try. Right now, why don't you go out and buy yourself whatever you need? Okay. Bad news. What? Fluffy's sick. The vet says she needs surgery. Well, how much is it? It's about $2,000. We can't afford it. You know what? I think I got it covered. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, good. Babe, I- Whoa! Back. Listen, it's not what it looks like. We can't break up, I need his money. I can't break up with him, I need his money. Uh, her and I are just friends. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. Bye! Babe, I made a mistake, I'm sorry. It's okay, we all make mistakes. And it was my bad, really. I should have knocked before coming in. Thanks for understanding. She kind of made a mess. Do you think you can clean up? I gotta go to work. Of course, honey, all clean, and you just go make the money. Thanks, babe. Love you. Bye. He is so dead. I'm so happy Fluffy's okay, but how did you get the money to pay for her surgery? Mom, about that. There's something that I need to tell you. I can't believe he cheated on you! I know, but now that Fluffy's okay, I think I'm gonna go break up with him. What? Looks like he just got another paycheck. And you still have his credit card. 
Don't break up just yet. I have a plan for how you can get revenge. Hey, sweetie. Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who is she? You know, I was about to ask you the same thing, but you look really familiar. Are you a model or something? Uh, actually, yes. Figures. I'm sorry, babe, but this girl was just leaving. But you said, no, stay. I think you're going to want to see this. I actually got him a little something. Here you go, sweetheart. Thanks. Oh, wait, but first, before you open that, I believe this is mine, right? Uh-huh. That's your Gucci bag. That's the one you wanted, right? Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and open yours. All right. What's this? Receipts of things that I bought this week. Baby, 10k worth of stuff? Oh, baby, you and I both know that you can afford it. Oh, and there's a card in there, too. Go ahead and read that. Roses are red, violets are blue, you're a dirty, rotten cheater, I'm breaking up with you? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Girl, let's get out of here. I'm right behind you. Wait! Ladies, I'll buy you anything! No amount of money is worth being with him. Goodbye. Darling, did your creature name appear yet? No, not yet, but obviously it's gonna say vampire since you and dad are both vampires. Well, actually... You're not our biological child. What? So I'm adopted? Yes, we found you abandoned by the ocean. I don't understand. If I'm not a vampire, then what am I? Well, we think you might be... I'm a mermaid? Why would you keep this a secret from me? We had a very good reason. Mermaids are extinct. You are the last of your kind. Guys, this shell just appeared on me. <gasps> the mermaid's mark. Cover it with your hair. Can't we just use makeup? No, darling. Makeup will not work. Let's hope the kids at Creature High will not notice your mark. Welcome to Creature High. Today, we'll be pairing up for a quiz. A quiz on the first day? No wonder they call her Miss Cruel. <laughs> <clears throat> Quiet. You two think you're so funny? Well, pair up together then. So, what creature are you? I'm a vampire. Sweet, me too. But my fangs haven't come in yet. <laughs> Mine either. I'm Draculogan. I'm Adrena. Okay, true or false, a mermaid will transform after getting her mark. Transform? Yeah, I mean, they gotta grow a tail at some point, right? I'm putting true. Hey, help us, please. Can you hear that? Hear what? Only you can hear us. Please let us out of this tank. Don't worry, I will. Adrena, were you talking to the... What is that mark? So your teacher saw your mark? Yeah. Well, what did you say? I told her that it was fake, but now everyone in my class thinks that I'm weird. Darling, your hair. She is starting to transform. Am I gonna grow a tail too? Yes, eventually. I think I have something that can help. Here, drink this. What is this? A potion that will turn you back to normal. There's nothing in here. It is invisible potion. Drink it, please. Yes, it worked. But is it supposed to make you feel sick? Unfortunately, that is a side effect. If you feel yourself transform again, take a sip of the potion. Hey, Dracky Logan. Sup, Adrena? And you can just call me Logan. Did you dye your hair, though? Oh no, I have to drink my potion. What? What is going on? Listen, if I tell you a secret, do you promise to keep it? I promise. You're a mermaid? Shh. Sorry, but, uh, can I see that potion? Adrena, this is... You think my own mom would try and poison me? I've seen this potion before, and it's toxic. Your hair is getting more colorful. I need that potion. This is for your own good. Logan, what have you done? I'm sorry, Adrena. I couldn't let you have that. You'll thank me later. Mom, Dad, bad news. The potion is gone, and my hair is looking like this. Oh, no. She ruined our plans. Wait, what? She is transforming. Now she can't escape. I don't understand. What's going on? We only adopted you because... We want something. What do you want from me? We want to suck your blood. Mermaid's blood makes vampires very powerful. She won't last much longer on land. I'm thirsty. How about some holy water? Here, this will turn you human. It worked, but how did you know... I'm not actually a vampire. You're a merman? Yeah, the last one, but I don't think mermaids are going to stay extinct anymore. Please be a vampire, please be a vampire. Werewolf. Oh no. Who is ready for their first day of scare school? Me. Did you find out what your soulmate is yet? Mm-mm, not yet. Well, as soon as you find out, let me know. Hey, new girl. 
What's your species? What? She means what mystical creatures are your parents? Oh, well, my dad is a vampire and my mom is a siren. Your mom's a siren? Like a mermaid? That's so cool. Yeah, well, they're both divorced now, so it didn't really work out. It's alright. Mine are too. Same here. <laughs> I heard Miss Scream is assigning us partners. Really? Yeah, hope we get each other. Yeah, me too. Draculina, you'll be partners with... Can you please just call me Lena? Okay, Lena. You'll be partners with Claude and... No way. I don't work with vampires. I'm not working with her. Well, I don't want to work with him either. If you don't work together, you'll fail the class. Is something bothering you, darling? You hardly touched your spaghetti and eyeballs. Nothing, just someone at school's been giving me a lot of trouble. Oh, well, why don't you just use your siren call to make them fall in love with you? Dad, you know I don't like doing that. Suit yourself. But don't forget to let me know about your soulmate. Right, I will. Claudin, look, we can't fail this class, so we're gonna have to work together. Fine, but I can't have you coming over to my house. My father would disown me if he saw me working with you. Likewise, but you do realize that I'm only half vampire, right? You're also half siren, aren't you? Yeah. Wait a minute, how did you know that? A uh, lucky guess. Mm-hmm. Anyways, why don't we just work at the old haunted house across the street? No one will spot us together there. No way, that place is infested with ghosts. Aw, oh, what's the matter? Too scared? I can't believe you convinced me to come to this haunted house. If you're too scared, you can leave. I'm not scared. Claudine, look behind you. <laughs> what? Got you. Oh, that's not funny. Don't even smile. You should have seen your face. <laughs> okay, next question. What is the best way to scare a human? Is it A to... What was that? Uh-uh, cut it out. You can't prank me twice. I'm not kidding. What was that? How would I know what... <laughs>